All right, guys, so check this out. We did another podcast with Zerka because I'm not gonna lie, we did the other one. It went crazy and everyone was like, yo, bring it back because I made a comment. I made a comment in the comment section, should we do round two? And everyone was like, yes, 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 yes. So we did round two. This one was like kind of like way too long, but it's a four hour long podcast. Maybe three hours and 30 minutes. I don't know what you guys are gonna see. We've got to cut some out because you know what it is, but enjoy the podcast. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Before we start this, like, comment, drop a little subscription please do that show some love if you're on itunes that's amazing if you're on spotify drop some sort of review whatever you guys want to do i want to start uploading on this channel twice a week it's going to be a grind this would be such a grind to do it because all the other stuff we're doing but i'm about that life maybe i'll find a different way to do it where it's like just a conversation piece me answering your guys's question uh different format but let me know if you guys want to hear that if you guys want that to be a part of this channel i love you guys let's get into this podcast and i gotta go train right now you're saying i'm talentless <laughs> like what the f well, no, you have to check if it was bought at first. No, I was like, out. well, it's just because it Because remember off. at the door, I said, you know, this is going to be the biggest podcast <laughs> you've ever had. I know. And but... he'd look at me like with this thousand yard stare. And I kept staying around the door. I kept saying to you, oh, you know, I'm not crazy. You know, I'm not on. And you just kept staring and staring. Were you not actually on. Of were course you not. A little, but you do a little. I, it, hand on God. If you ask me when I do and I'm on it. You really think Zerka? Have you, you seen what comes out of my mouth? You tell the Way truth. worse things. If you catch me on live, I'll spike the viewer count. I'll go, I'm on. Are you, but, uh, what are you on right now? Oh, yeah. Okay. And okay. you know what's funny is like, I feel stupid about talking about it because I got 1 million DMs since our last podcast saying, yeah. it does nothing for me. So I mm. think I'm just fractured and it's, it's like, it just works for me. I don't know. I think it's a lot for a lot of, I'm not, I'm not encouraging this by any means. For no, people, I have a bunch of friends who don't behave like me on this kind of a stimulant. You say behave like me. What do you mean though? Like, they're like just out of their mind. Can, no, no. You can tell it's like, I'm very sensitive. <clears throat> How many milligrams do you take? 30. 30. Is it like extended release? The Jake orange know a lot thing or the prescription orange one. It's instant. It's instant. instant? That's why it's. When you but take it, it feels like an eight to 12 hour thing. Oh my and God. And since I'm fasted usually with caffeine. Fast. I don't sleep for like two days. So you're not going to sleep tonight? F for the last couple of years, I'll, I've always slept like a nurse, like two, three days on and then two off. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I said that. No, I know what you're going to say for, for Adam 22. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I said. What about Adam? No, I said two days on, three days off, two days on. That's how I. But when I'm on Adam, I say, as in like, it's got just it. a joke. I got it. Well, dude, last time you came on, you said some reckless about steroids and not a lot of people believe that, you. This is what kills me is like, if I admit all that, why don't people believe me when I say I'm not on? I admit how much I've taken. Well, like, I, believe, I, believe, I believe you're not on. Cocaine. I do believe you're not on. Cocaine. I believe you're on Adam. But on the steroid thing, like that was just like an absurd amount of. There's like, I can't get over the fact well, hold that on. he said we're botted. No, no. You thought that episode sucked. No, bro. I thought it was amazing. I'm just saying, like, it, I didn't think for people to take to it so quickly. That's all. Like, how quickly it grew. I was like, where is that coming from? Yeah. I, th I like, really why, thought why, it why, like 700, 800. I why do you, yeah, like, why do you think it, why do you think it, so many people enjoyed it so much? Because I love you. Ah, oh, I appreciate it. You couldn't that. feel it on the I couch. I felt it. I felt it. I knew every bit of your life. But why do you think they like this? Actually, so you know how I felt bad? I knew everything except your recent girlfriend history. So when I read the comments and everyone's like mentioning a girl and they're like, Zerka doesn't know, what what am I out of the loop in? Like, because I can't. Well, I, don't, I don't talk about my girl. Oh, she's not like your partner on YouTube? No. You never platformed her? No. How the f is the comment section typing? Because people just speculate random. Or they speculate ran, a girl. Yeah, people just oh. speculate random shit. It's not my girl. Oh, I thought you were just cheating because there's four names. Like, they just throw different names. Wait, what were the other names? I don't remember the names, but I remember thinking, I'm like, I don't look like a genuine Bradley fan because I don't know who his girlfriend is. Like, the podcast, I'm like, I had no idea. But it's like, you know, I watched you for a long time, and then obviously the, the year I'm working, I don't consume content. Right, right, I get it. Which you don't so consume content, right? No. Yeah, I see, that. well, I guess I see a bit just when I jump online. Like, I'll look at stuff. I'll see stuff where I'm getting tagged in and I'll see some stuff. But I don't go just consume a bunch of different types of content. I also feel like doing that kind of will, it could sway you to try to create content that's not genuine of you. You know, because you'd be like, oh, this worked, maybe I'll try this. So I just kind of like avoid it. Actually, now that I think about it, 
for most creators, I can pinpoint usually who they're imitating, but like, yeah, you're authentic. You're not copying anyone. No. You don't copy style, jokes, nothing. And you have such strong personalities here. You'd think they'd influence you a bit, you know? Like, like Sneeko. Like, <laughs> no, like people who come in and talk to me? I mean, every YouTuber party I go to, the, the most influential guy will talk for 15 minutes and then others around him will start mimicking his behavior. Where do you see this at? You see it on YouTube videos and you see it at party everywhere, bro. You're telling me you've never seen your YouTuber buddy start to like shake when Andrew came out. Didn't everyone start getting uh, a little more edgy and like they yeah, started changing their personality and they're yeah. like, mm, maybe our women aren't that great. And yeah. like the whole wave of YouTube started changing. They're like, whoa, Andrew's letting us talk about this. Yeah, no, I definitely saw that. I definitely saw that. And people like just, they, they felt okay to do it more, I guess. So and they tested the I'll waters. say this, it works. You make a ton of money, but it's cringe. Copying. They call that grifting, no? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know what's sad is like, grifting is how you stay in the <clears throat> game for a long time. If you think about it, it's riding yeah. trends. Right. Right, not trend trends yeah not right but 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 look, we've got to talk about that steroid thing again like because there was someone who broke it down they're like and i actually thought about this i didn't think about it in the moment we were talking but like you would have to have been injecting like yourself all day long to inject that much stuff this is where i felt kind of like i messed up i never said the days that i'm puking so i didn't poke so two days a week i'm puking my guts out and i can't poke there's no way the dose is it's not like on paper Right. You'd have to omit a couple of days and you got to remember, it's not it's not just performance enhancing. It was recreationals. So complete haze. All I know is what my buddies told me I took because they're all they're the ones poking me. And uh, and the film, I, we filmed a lot of it. Do you have that film footage? Yeah. Where is that? I want to see that. Maybe later. Yeah. But um yeah, it was such a haze in my life, like those, that year, but really those, fucking, you know, 12 weeks. Yeah. That there's no way, like when I said my cycle, people are like, oh, this day a week, he took this, 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 this. But this is a fucking pretty much homeless guy. That's how I was living, right? So a homeless guy, when he's puking and sleeping 18 hours because he cracked out on, what was it, GHB? Finish a bottle of Jameson alone. Uh, you know what GHB is, right? Yeah, GHB is incredible. Yeah. Uh, alone, I'd do it um, for the weekends, and then it would be uh, right uh, go skiing all week long. It was like it was fucking awesome. No, but you know it's not. <laughs> it's not. We can't say it. it's like you were trying no, to kill was, yourself. Well, yeah, I overdosed twice, and then and I never talked about like how many times did I get jumped being high. I I don't think I've ever been jumped sober. You know what I mean? So, like, imagine how much trouble I'd avoid in life if I didn't have uh, Hell's Angels as friends, right? Yeah. Well, let's talk about other friends. Let's talk about Sneeko. Did you, did you guys ever actually have beef? Because I see you tweet random shit. You're like, yo, he made my career. But then I see you tweet other shit. You're like, I fucking hate this guy. That's bipolar. <laughs> yeah. But, like, are you actually bipolar? You're just fucking with him. I think I am, but I'm not. They couldn't diagnose me for anything. So, the, you know, that's where everyone freaked out that I came out. You know, medical records, perfect psychologically, but you can see some, <laughs> something wrong. They with missed you. the test, bro. There's you know? something wrong with Yeah. You. Well, uh, well, let's talk about Sneeko, but you just reminded me of someone else that we're going to talk about, Spoosie, but we'll get, we'll get into that a little bit later. The, the Sneeko thing. Where, where are you at with that? Does he, did you not f*** with him? No, I love him. Because. Yeah, you don't love me. Why do you say shit about him then? I never did. I stuck to the same script I've always stuck. All I said was, oh shit, I didn't say anything. He, I kept attacking Andrew T and then he would push back. Yeah. And I'd be like, yeah, shut up, shut up. And then he like, man, if I say it like this, this sounds like a hit piece on him. Why? Because he just threw our friendship in the garbage. Oh, That's your God. friend. You met him too, my, my bad, too. my bad. I mean, you can say whatever you want, but like, you know. It's all fun and games until I run into Andrew. Yeah, until that yeah. guy checks I'll be you, all bro. high and shit. He just attacks me. But yeah, so. I wonder who it, was in a street fight. You were Tate. He, I've seen his wrestling. He's good, man. 
His wrestling? No, not his wrestling. Not okay, his wrestling. There I'm not go. talking. About, I haven't seen his wrestling. Yeah, no. I, in a in a boxing, he, he, he street yeah. fight. In a street fight. Yeah. Put my knife right. Ah, uh, <laughs> see. I'm kidding. No weapons. L- let me let me tell you. Hand on God. Okay. On Jesus Christ. Are you gonna tell me how many fucking street fight pictures no, no, you no, have no, right no. now? I don't flex that. <laughs> if I told you how many I lost, this would be a 24 hour episode, right? But hand on God, on Jesus Christ Almighty. Okay. I wouldn't feel one percent fear if I ran into Andrew, or even Tristan, the bigger one, in a hotel lobby. I'm. But they wouldn't. So confident yeah. in the wrestling portion. If it was like a, if it was a scary welterweight like um, Colby Covington, you know that would be scary, like a wrestler. But yeah, I'm I'm not afraid of like you know, technical fighters on the yeah. street that much. Yeah. Right? I don't think, I don't even think, I mean, they wouldn't do anything to you in a lobby anywhere, you know? If it was two of them at the same time, you know, that's when, <clears throat> that's when I would, uh, it'd I'd be have, a problem. No, I would call Fousey. <laughs> <laughs> G7, let's go. Bro, he's, he, Fousey slapping all the white boys. Is Andrew even white? Like, what is he? No, he's mixed. But bro, Yusef was one of the most inter- entertaining things in the last like what two months on on the internet, and he called me uh, t- yesterday, yesterday morning. And oh, he's I, out of the no, he's not. The out. Joker's no, free. No, he's not out. No, he called me a week ago, and then he called me again yesterday, and he said uh, he was basically being held. I think because he said some like reckless sh- cops, or I don't know what exactly why he's being held, but he went in for a psych evaluation. And apparently he didn't pass and they want him to like stay until I guess they want to allow him to come out. But I guess it's going to be like another 30 days or some shit. Holy shit. Some, some, but he's calling me and I'm telling you this because he's calling me from a hospital. So it's not like his random phone, like his phone. He doesn't have his phone. I always forget you're his best friend. Like you, you came out through him, right? Yeah. You came out of. Fousey's womb. No, not <laughs> no, exactly. no. It's worse. It's worse. I came out of Sneakos. <laughs> well, no, it's it's very different. Very different. Yeah, because my yours is not a cock. Yeah, okay, no, hey, okay. I love <laughs> you, Sneeko. God, the Sneeko shade is. Yeah. I like Sneeko, man. Yeah. Don't slander my guy like that. I like him. He's no, I, I send him love letters on Twitter every day. He's a good guy. So, anyways, he calls me and he's like, "Yo," he's like, "I'm gonna be good." Um, and he says, "I want you to do me a favor. T- send a tweet." I sent the tweet out a couple days ago. You saw it. Probably. And uh, he said he's doing a bunch of like, he, he told me he's doing 500 push ups, 500 sit ups a day. I'm like, this is bullshit. Well, he's planning to spring out. But he's going to, he, <laughs> yes. He's going to do something against but the wall. He wants to get the f out of there. Obviously, he said there's still a kick deal. Uh, he says he's medicated. Like they, they, some the kick syri- deal doubled. He I, slapped the child. That's the best content we've ever seen. He what? He slapped the child. That was the most badass sh- ever. You talking about Doherty? That bully, that little. Bully? I don't even. Yeah, I saw. I didn't know there was. I just saw the that clip. kid was bullying Fuzzy the whole time. Oh, you saw the other content? I didn't see. Well, the rest I of heard it. the behind the scenes stuff. Oh, I didn't see it. They cut out a. Well, it's not. They didn't cut out for the live stream. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that makes Fuzzy look a lot more normal. Like, have you ever been around condescending people where they're they're making fun of you with the whole room, but they're trying to fly under the radar? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And so yeah. Fuzzy. He lets that shit load and then he snaps. He's looking kind, of, kind of like me. I'll let, you know, a, a bunch of jabs and then I'll slap a child. <laughs> yeah. He smacked the shit out of that kid. How old is that kid? I don't know. I think. Did you see he got f-ed up by the island boys Bro, after that, I gave that, them a pep talk on my stream? That whole shit is just like fake. I don't know. I think I think a little bit's contrived for sure. I think they know what they're doing. Obviously, the island those guys are junkies. I mean, the, bro, the island guy, about? island guys, they faked the fact that they look like they were one was sucking the other one's d- and shit. Well, like, they didn't you know, face that. No, I saw the clip. You see, there's like a thing. It's like a carrot or some bullshit. Yeah, but they're still tongue. Oh, I don't. That's, that's the what I'm saying. Thing. They'll do whatever they want for cloud. That's the point, right? That's why we're talking about it. So I think a lot of it's contrived. I think a lot of it's no. Bullshit. They're drug addicts, so they scripted. Hey, let's play fight. But then you play fighting with a perked out fiend, so he starts choking you to death. I've been around junkies like that, except the bigger ones. Wait, who's his ex fiend? Uh, obviously, the island. The I the incest boys, and I like you. How can you not tell from their eyes? Like, dude, I used to do IDs as a bouncer for five years, and I'd look. I know exactly what drug they're on. I know the cocktail. 
it's always downers and they look like perks and zans and perks and zans and then i hit up their ex and it's perks and zans she told me right so i was <laughs> is like that I, true is that true i guess that was like months and months ago so maybe they switched but it you can't tell the droopy eye look yeah yeah the tired shit yeah and Just all the low. rage that comes out of nowhere from the irritability right because yeah when we used to spar in basements all these bouncers everyone had a drug in my city the i mean guy the Percocet guys could were the most durable they're not feeling pain but they were slower so they're taking a lot <laughs> right they wouldn't come to work the next day uh there would be um the drunks were most aggressive for the inhibition thing like the what the drunks oh right okay. so we'd all fucking glove up and it would be like U ufc with just junkies drug dealers and all the hottest girls in a corner talking to each other they didn't even watch the boys fight that's how bored Whoa. the girls were. Wait, what are you talking about? In my hometown. You're talking about like a fucking... So all my coworkers... This is bullshit. This has to be a bullshit story. No, no, no. Literally in my hometown, there's different nightclubs on Granville Street. You can go to Cabana, talk to the head doorman. You could go to Celebrities, talk to the head doorman. 12 of us is a little posh. You could go to a Bar None. The dirty guys that what sell What city drugs. is this? Vancouver. Okay. So the dirty guys who sell drugs, they're all kind of know each other. You're saying this is a real thing. Drug addicts it would always start as a party like it wouldn't be organized fight club it would start as a party and then one okay. guy would put the gloves on to impress a girl or whatever and then you know how drug addicts are like they just okay yeah but no one would ever do it sober right if if, if people didn't have their drugs and drinks they were like gentlemen right but then they put those demons in them and they turn into exactly what you see with the island boys that <laughs> irritability that everything pissing them off and shit and so i i can see that those guys are doing a lot of yeah. So what do you think about Fusi? It's criminal what to, they're doing to him. You know, I don't believe in big pharma at all. Yeah. Like zero. I guess they're, they're he said that they're legit like I guess he's hit some drug that you take and it lasts for like a month. Some sort of downer must be, right? Oh, the coronavirus shot. I don't know what the fuck it is. I mean I'm not there, but but I'm telling you when I when I'm telling you this story, I'm like he literally is calling me from a hospital phone. So I believe him and it sounds like And he told you basically everything or you don't even know what they told him i don't him. know everything i don't know everything all i know mm -hmm. is he said he had a psychotic break and that he had to stay for more time otherwise there's something about something with miami pd press okay, i don't get it i don't get this at all how did he have a psychotic break when i watched the stream and he kind of did what my buddies would do what i would do like if i want the if i feel like let's say i usually don't call the cops because i'm worried like you know they'll take me away but the guy's been doxxed for weeks, right? Yeah. People are trying to fight him, jump in, throw shit at him. His address is leaking at every hotel. And he's not sleeping, just fucking going hard. How the fuck is Fousey in the wrong for being paranoid when the guy's talking about his mother? Right? Remember that call? Yeah, like, I saw. I Because I was streaming at the time on Twitch and someone said, go watch this thing. And it was a video of this guy you're talking about, the one who doxxed him. Yeah. And it's like a whole video and he's like talking to Fusi and he's like saying all this weird, like, should we do this to him or should we do that to the, him? The, to me, I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? I, I just imagined if he did that to me, if I wasn't sleeping, going hard and being doxxed for weeks and paranoid. And, and yeah. And also Fusi told me on the phone, he hadn't slept for like a couple of days and he also wasn't taking his medication. I, I don't so, really think that's a big factor. That's what he really. told me. I'm just saying. I want to make yeah, sure. The whole stuff. internet's like, it's the medication. I don't think that's a big factor because if I picked up that call and he mentioned my mother, I, I'd be like, okay, it's chances are this is just a prank. I'm not taking chances with my mother. Let's yeah. go to war, bitch. I know. I The I, fuck? I, and so Fousey did everything correct. Yeah, except the, I guess the way he was treating the cops, right? Because like you can't. No, those cops, he gave them the address. They didn't listen. And another thing. Right at the peak of Fousey's, uh, it wasn't delusion. That paranoia. Imagine if Fousey was, let's say, no, no medication, just a regular sober woman. Imagine a sober woman being doxxed for weeks and all that bad stuff happening to her. And then she gets a call about her family. It's like a threat. That, that's the tone. And then her security guard, Fousey's security guard, said, I don't know the address to this hotel. And Fousey freaked out. He's like, what the f do you not know the address? Who the f wouldn't? F I've worked security detail for five years, French Montana celebrities. If someone asked me, Zerka, what's the address in like a kind of like a panicky situation? I would, if I didn't have it, I would get it. 
But he literally says, I don't know the, the address here. As in, I'm not helping you, Fuzi. And then Fuzi lost his shit because he's like, oh my God, I can't trust anyone. Yeah. Right? And you got to remember, <clears throat> the doxing doesn't happen from the internet. It happens from always someone inside your group. So there'll be like an entourage of people. One defector gives the, your address to like some haters of yours who put it on Reddit. So it always feels like it's coming from internal. So Fuzi's paranoia, when the whole internet made him out to be like he's seeing demons, it it's looked- merited. Yeah, I mean like, the only part I didn't like is when he said, there's a gun in my head. I guess, but, was he trying how, to get them there faster? But how many times, how many times, how many adults have lied oh my leg hurts to the paramedics so they actually come on time instead of wait two fucking hours that's true humans lie all the time and my issue was i thought he was gonna go wait outside because if you if you say there's a gun in my head dude fuzi could twitch and they could blow his brains out yeah, walking they in right came in, yeah and you've seen american cops they just shoot they yeah. just shoot at any fucking crazy right but yeah i mean i i think obviously he's gonna come out um, at some point, and then he said he wanted to come on the pod talk about it. So I get all the details, but he's saying that he, ha he still has the deal. And you were saying to Aiden that he didn't have the deal? Yeah, he didn't win on TikTok. He said he doesn't have a deal anymore. He lost it. So you I, think Aiden I would believe Aiden over Fuzi right now. Yeah? Because Fuzi probably is worried about his business. So he's like, I want them to wait for me, so I'm going to tell them the good news. Fuzi, you don't got to tell us good news. You've solidified your – like, is Fuzi ever going to be forgotten? The guy recovered after like, bro, that this is that a, recovery is re that's that recovery was filling stadiums, bro. And I felt guilty because I thought he was like gay and doing all this crazy shit. So I attacked him. Do you remember when I just started? T I said, you're a basket case rehab story. Yeah, yeah all yeah, that. Yeah. I saw that. I attacked the shit out of him and he was, he was peaking in views and all my friends ran to suck him off and abandon me. I don't want to say names. Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who do you think? All right, we're not doing this. Sneeko? I only have one friend. Sneeko fucking... Fuzi asked him, are you friends with Zerka? And he was asking in a, in a way like, should I come over or are you friends with Zerka? You know how influencers do that? Uh, like, uh, and he says, well, I mean, not really. Wait, where'd you see it? Was that on a stream? Yeah, he, uh, and check it out. If he did that offline, I wouldn't care. But my chat spamming. <laughs> betrayal again. Betrayal number four. And I'm like, yo, guys, pretend it didn't happen. But you are a little crazy, bro. You're a little crazy. I've never abandoned a friend on, on I get it. the internet. Like one friend I had, Slicker, so he, he, my mom, my mom is in trouble, medical issues. And let me tell you the story, John. I, no, don't tell me the story. I was broke, but I was working a lot of hours. I gave him $10,000. Turns out he said that story to 50 <laughs> yeah, other streamers. You know this story, up. right? Yeah, yeah, you said it. You he stole $350,000. Yeah, 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 and unfortunately, it wasn't just from Pokemon. He took from everyone. <laughs> that guy sucks. But check it out. Go look in the history. His first day on that podcast that he grew from with me, we were platformed on the same. We were literally started the internet the same day. He went from minimum wage. I went from minimum wage into that life. He had only one friend, Zerka. I only had Slicker. And when I found out he took 10 bands, Imagine four years of friendship, Fuck. and he abandoned me for years, but I didn't tell people because it's like, I thought, he, I thought dad's coming home. He's like this big. <laughs> yeah, so, and everyone on Twitch would laugh at me because they'd actually, I remember getting DMs of like, hey, maybe we should, this is how people on Twitch used to talk about me. Maybe we should invite Zerka because they thought I was going to like off myself that I had no friends for four years <laughs> and my only friend never chills with me because he's so good at leeching and all that, you know, like social climbing. And then... Uh, the one friend that Iraqi, the slicker. Oh, okay. And so I'm so used to being solo. So I said to Sneeko, I said to Myron, I said to everyone I met, look, I don't even believe in friendship. Like as an adult, you have coworkers. That's it. Right? If you have friends, that's your high school buddies and you're going nowhere fast. But now a lot of people hated me for this because there was like four big influencers who came out and like cornered me on on live to see if I'm telling the truth, and they did this to me, Zerka. Am, about the money? No, no, about this, Zerka. Am I your friend? And so I'm preaching that men shouldn't have friends. So I all four of my friends, I said no in front of all chat and shit. And people were like, 
Zerka's the worst businessman because you know it's social. It's uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. got to cross pollinate viewership, right? Yeah, you got a network. This social media, and I'm anti-social, but uh, the anti-social thing was so good because because I couldn't have friends because of just like if this thing's not on and we were roommates, you would never see me. I'd be in my room. Like ask anyone. That's hilarious. Yeah, I'd even. That's kind of like the, me, dude. Even the maid. Fuck. I don't even want to talk to the maid. I give her extra money so she just leaves me alone. Like, pre- <sighs> if I walk, for, yeah, I live at their pandas. I was right. If I walk to the bathroom, I look at my feet and I pretend no one's in the house. And if someone goes, "Hey, John," I go, "No, no, no." That's <laughs> how much of my time I preserve. Like, I really like my personal time. Yeah. But because I work like fucking 12, 14 hours a day. But anyways, that betrayal with Slicker made me realize this industry should just be business, not really friends. And then Sneakos community said, that's cold. But bro, I got burned bad. And I, I, by a lot of people that I don't mention, but this industry is snake filled, bro. What the fuck? And you know what's funny? All the content the internet's missing is if influencers just fucking ratted on each other. You bro. Would, your favorite YouTubers. Bro, your I favorite. Swear. That's why I love Fousey as the chaotic. Because Fousey can, don't worry, I'll never tell your secret. And then Fousey goes manic and goes, she actually murdered a squirrel <laughs> and enjoyed it. We need that. It's like Trump, like that chaotic force. Just like, like Dude, it does need, damage, we but we need back. truth. We need him back, bro. We need him back so bad. That's criminal. 30 days extra. I don't know what the, I don't, obviously I don't know the exact details. I got to talk to him about it, but. It's, he made it sound like it was going to be another 30 days. You want to know how disgusting I am? The whole time you're talking about Fousey, instead of me being worried about him, I'm thinking of how many views I'd get, I swear to God, if I strung I him out. I I'm thinking, you were going there. And in my head, Bradley kept appearing and disappearing because in my head I'd be like, no, no, don't ask Bradley. He would never come. Yeah. But maybe. And then I'd see him with a fucking shovel. No. And you kept flashing my head. And I'm like, yo, I'm yeah. not even worried about my own. F-. And here's the thing. All of those guys who went after licking Fuzi's ass for the clout were shook that I called him gay when he's like peeking in views. Then when he slapped the child, I said, you are my Messiah. I almost let go of Jesus Christ. Dude, <laughs> he slapped Trump. a child. That's my dream job. Yeah, and no, no, he didn't slap a child. He slapped a child in front of stadiums. <laughs> yeah. And they cheered. Wow. The child's dad couldn't stop it. The bodyguards couldn't stop. Nobody could stop that slap from happening. And I swear to God, the Holy Spirit. And went you were in like, I hand. found him. No, because I swear, this is going to sound like comedy. I, this part's <clears throat> not comedy. Every commenter, the condescending comments and all those kind of like, uh, they take like, you know, like low, yeah, the low blows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Millions of comments telling you to kill yourself, kill yourself for years. And he's thinking of doing it. That child would have been in that comment. You know that fucking YouTuber, that his style, how he likes to fuck with people, he would have been typing to Fousey. Even if he didn't, the fact that he could do it and I couldn't means the Holy Spirit guided Fousey's Muslim hand and slapped. Bro, I don't promote violence. <laughs> fuck it, I promote violence, yo. Yes. This is super fucking fentanyl, bros. Look at this. <laughs> oh, did, did it not? You're so... Bro, you're killing me right now. Hold the fuck on. Hold on, hold on. This is good. Who's is gonna be my Luigi? Bro, I I love. <laughs> is that the get up? Bro, I I'm so glad you said this shit's funny. I'm so glad you talked about that. Just the that kind of like, because this is part of the reason why Fousey has. So, and obviously, it's tough because we can't and people watching we can't dictate how people act and react to this shit. But Fousey has had so many. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. I gotta say one thing. Go, yeah. There's one part that I couldn't defend Fousey on. <laughs> Did you see the clip for it? He looked at the little child's supercars, and he was so fucking jealous and angry. Yeah, he was. He's like, I'm gonna slap this <laughs> before it happened. Yeah. So I'm I'm trying to justify it because I love Fousey. And people are like, Zerka's cloud chasing. Zerka's the only one who, like, I attacked everything. His fa- everything. I heard it. Was it cloud chasing? When you look at the timeline, I didn't know if Fuzi was at 40,000, 20,000, 70,000 viewers because I just pressed full screen on him <laughs> slapping the kid on replay. 
if you, do you believe I became a Fousey fan because of his viewer count or because I like to see children get slapped? I mean, I'm I mean, not, I don't like. To, I'm not encouraging it, but if it happens, I'm well, definitely. He's I'm not gonna a, eat the okay, popcorn. But he's also not a child. He's what, probably like 20 but or that's something, the right? Best part. He's like nice. He looks How old like is he? a child. It looked like a Muslim dad. How old is he? Yeah, it looked like a Muslim dad entering a white boy's home and, and smacking the shit out of him, smacking the racism out of him. <laughs> 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 and yo, you know what's funny? There was that look in his eyes where he's like, I, I need to pay my security more. Like, the like, security Yusuf, was like, yeah. were, I, oh, I no, know, no, the, the Doherty guy. I don't know. No, no, the, the child security would, yes. would leave vacuums for him to get hurt. Well, he's didn't he say before machine. he did it? Before he said it, before he did it, he's like, he was like, wasn't he like, you're lucky I'm like friends with your bodyguards or something like that? Wasn't he yelling that? That's when he like yelled oh, yeah. at him. So maybe that's why there was room because they were like, uh, no, because no, I've been, or maybe I've been security. Do you know why there was room? When you're on your feet all day, sometimes you get bored. They they literally let it happen. Yeah, because think, think about it, man. And they saw the water. I I can't tell you, but how. I think they let it happen for content, though, bro. Yeah, but no, no, I think there's the, gotta the, be the a content degree of that. is pushing. Slapping isn't a part of the script. <laughs> Fuzi is just that good of an actor <laughs> he's like a fucking tom cruise he so, took it to but i don't think he's level. but i don't think he's really acting fuzzy yeah he's, he's not yes he is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yo what kind of lawyer are you i mean that was fuzzy's best <laughs> performance <laughs> remember when he pretended to be jealous about the lamborghinis you're funny I, you gotta watch the clip where he goes so those are your those are your cars yeah yeah, is it, is it, what do you do with the girls? You just fuck them? You fuck them or they leave the house? And all the anger. I didn't see this. I clip. love supercars and I, I was jealous, clip. so he was speaking for me. Yo! I, I, I'm telling the truth, bro. The truth is, it's. Yo, is hold important. on. Do you think, do you think the internet, do you think it's ever gonna change where people just don't completely attack people like that? Bro, he. They're li- never. I'm not talking about Fousey attacking Do- the Doherty kid. I'm talking oh. about comments. Cause like, that's what I was trying to go after earlier was like, Yusuf has had the most tumultuous up and down I've ever seen. And like people at this point, part of his like character, it seems is like to be a punching bag. You know what I'm saying? The comments are always like, Oh, you're just going to fucking blow up again. Like it's going to blow. It's going to be a problem again. Do you think, do you think people ever like, I'll tell you this. You're not going to like it though. You're going to hate what I'm going to say, but go ahead. I think Fousey psychically has changed forever. Brad to, Think about it. Every child's face he sees is a lottery button. No. 70, 100,000 views? You know how addictive that is? No. You know how addictive? He's not just going to go around smacking kids now. No, no. Bro. I'm not saying he's going to smack kids. I'm going to. I'm saying the impulse is going to think about that you viewer think count. Think about Imagine Fousey getting getting ice cream and a little child that looks just like that little no, boy stop. walks up. Stop it. Stop. See, the viewer it's count just... He's not, no, no, he's not going to do it. But the viewer count would be like, I wonder if he's having a bad day. Yeah. And so they tune in to see, like, is Fousey going to snap? Is he going to smack this kid? And, and check it out. I wasn't... This wasn't a comedy bit, this part where I said, um, to me, I watched Fousey's Twitch with Ahmed Abrizi where he was super depressed and he was just very transparent. So it was like, I don't know, I really liked him, right? But this is the only stream I'd watch because for this some reason- This was a long time ago. Yeah, like a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah. But for some reason, if someone gets on the microphone and <clears throat> spills their depression, nobody likes to hear it because they're, all, they're always lying. But when Fuzi would do it, it, I swear, it was so naked the way he spoke. It was so ugly. Like it made him look so stupid, ugly, all that, so I knew it was real, like he's telling the truth. And he was sober for like months and months. Like you yeah. could see it, the calm. And I was like, I watch him to clown him in my head. That's what comedians do. Like we just, like when I watch Logan, anyone, I just clown them, right? You need to give me more material. I can't clown you for anything. Like what do you, what's your flaw, bro? What do you mean? I feel like you have like a skeleton in your closet. I feel like you're going to slap a child one day. No. I would that never. would, imagine your viewer count. Shit would go go crazy, right? Imagine you're injecting Trent and then <laughs> No, Trent is not it, man. Yeah, you'd no. take some D ball for that kid. But yo, check it out. What was I saying? Oh, for Fousey, right? Yeah, when you when you saw him with A Breeze and all so, that. So I know him from all that con- content, and I, this is the first live stream I watch. 
and I watch it to make fun of him. I text my brother as I make, you know, like I'm building my energy and then I go live with that energy. But I stopped because he started being very relatable because sometimes I get on a microphone and I go, if I'm really a badass, I'll just tell everything that's in my heart. They're going to say, you know, they're going to make fun of it. They're going to stab it. But then if you're a badass, you just fucking push it off you. That's a horrible system for streaming because every day for years of my live stream, I would go to bed saying, why did I tell them that? Why did I tell them that? For years, all that stress. <clears throat> but there was a breaking point where nothing chat comment sections can say bothers me. But I don't think most humans should do what I did. A lot of girls on Twitch quit for months if they read bad comments and stuff. And I don't think people should re read bad comments. But I'm like, yo, I took all... You, live streaming is like... Even if you're just sit, sitting there chilling, it's like little daggers in you. Because it's like your conscience talking to you, right? Why didn't you shave? You didn't shower. And you go, oh, I didn't shower. You're talking about the random comments. Yeah, yeah. And so like it adds up. So I'm like, how the fuck did millions of people... They're reminding him what he needs to work on. It's like, you're fat. You're this. You're... So he's thinking about harming himself. He's like, dude, I'm closed out in every angle. I can't breathe. I'm suffocating. I was like, when is he, Fousey's going to give me that release? Just pop off so I can not worry about you, right? He never popped off for a year. And I stopped watching. I forgot. And I always thought, I'm like, what happened to that guy? He did the boxing and then he disappeared. And in my head, I'm thinking all that torment he got with no release no mental breakdown, nothing. When he slapped that little child, that white boy, he's not a child. I swear it's not comedy right now. He's it felt, child. it felt, it felt zero percent wrong. The first time in my life, like it was warranted, dude. I'm the kind of guy that if you have ten pounds over me in a fight <clears throat> or him in a fight, I go, oh, well, that's a little unfair. Fuzzy has like seventy pounds <laughs> on that kid. It was the most fair fight I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Kid has Lamborghinis why, why, and why, shit. Why? Why? Be because the kid was think of think of it through Fuzzy's lens. The kid represents all the keyboards typing, encouraging him to jump. And I swear, if you put that kid on a lie detector, and you said, "Hey, what's his name?" Doherty, Jack Doherty. Jack what? Jack Doherty. Jack Doherty. I believe so. Yeah. If he if Jack Doherty got on a lie detector. And they asked him, let's do Zerka first. Zerka, we're going to test for deception right now. Okay. Have you ever kissed a man? <gasps> no, take it off. Yo, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I, hey, have you know, you I, kissed a man? Have you no, but I did at TwitchCon with some fat, ugly drunk who like, you know, try to do one of those. Oh shit. You didn't hit him? We got TwitchCon. Couldn't. A lot of bands came from like i i destroyed anyways I, then I, I destroyed his life like he's not yeah i did literally he he's he's dead, what dead he's dead. i didn't kill him he's not alive he jumped he killed himself that guy yeah in real life yeah it, oh. like a year later oh, wow. because of the stuff i was texting him texting yeah i was typing so you killed a man no i just kept sending bubbles saying jump for one year straight <laughs> wait a sec yeah wait a sec and it was green wait, 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 green wait, 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 text wait. it was green text too. so he had an android yeah oh my god that's crazy i think he jumped with it in his he pocket definitely if he had an android but check it out sense. if if wait is this guy really dead I, I, if he's not i don't know where he's at jump <laughs> are we allowed to do that <laughs> no i don't know i don't think so do, that was a fake story so i told yeah, okay. a ghost to jump got it Bang. Right. You should just hit him, bro. Instead of the, you know. But you have, you have the same problem as me. If you hit someone, the cops come. It's not the same process as them hitting someone. You know it's not. It's different. It's literally manslaughter. Even if you don't hurt them that bad, they just look at the size difference. And I've been in a lot of trouble. I'm, if someone's smaller, I've never fought someone smaller. Unless it was like, fuck you. But it's never. I'm, you mushed them. Yeah. Now at work, I have. <clears throat> right? Like when you give them warnings, step away from the rope, step away from the rope. Fuck it, I'm cracking this 5-2. I've never hit 5-2. I'm going to crack that cherry. And it, I swear it feels better when you have absolute, absolute Autonomy. power over them. Because you go, no UFC fighter has felt this because we're 89 pounds. 
different. Here, here this is a go. catch weight. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. But oh, check God. it out. If they ask that, Zerka, we're testing for deception right now. Have you ever typed to someone, go yourself in the comments? No. And I'd score perfectly honest. I'm Unless gonna... you ask me, have you said it? <clears throat> right? Then, yeah. Yeah. We've all said it, right? Maybe as jokes and stuff. But now look at this. If you had Jack Doherty, if they asked him on a lie detector, have you ever told someone yourself again? And they keep asking the question and peeling the onion. I bet that kid has sent thousands of messages. Those types of kids who are like, they got all the money, but they can't fuck bitches because their bitches don't <laughs> respect them. So they just hover around the fucking house. Right. God. I swear every YouTuber kid that's 19, <clears throat> but they look like very young. I, all oh, their girls have cheated with me. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, you look me dead in the eyes and said that. You know I'm not lying. You know me well. I believe you. I believe you. That's funny. You know why you believe me? I believe Because you've had some of them too. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. the big jack YouTubers. Fuck. Bro, if you have 100,000 subs on YouTube and you're a Chad, you can fuck 10 million subscriber counts yeah, no, up. No, no. Like these little children who are like, hey, do you want to play Super Smash Bros? With their, bro, you're 19 playing video games? No. Fucking verbally abuse her. Do something she wants to verbally do. Verbally abuse her. Yeah, turn her on. But now check it out. A lot of people aren't going to understand unless they watch the Twitch streams with uh, uh, A Breezy and Fuzzy. When he slapped him, I hate unfairness, but there was something so relatable where it's like years of pain released. Like I finally got the episode. I thought it was going to be a therapy stream with Dr. K or something. I wanted to see crying screaming something just release because yeah. i'm like there's no way he's fucking going through this and he when he would leak his depression it was always to be continued energy because as he's going to the dark place his stupid fucking influencer buddies would be like hey your pizza's here and would interrupt him and he'd be like this kafuzi was so polite when he's sober especially actually both both fuzis are polite both alter egos so all of his friends on the streams would interrupt him spilling. And I'd be like, what the fuck? It was just getting to the fucking place he needs to release. Oh, they're not listening. They don't care. And it's not that they don't care. Like they have Zoomer brain, ADHD. Even the guys my age are just, they don't, they don't have that intuitive thing where it's like you and I at a party, a girl doesn't have to be crying, but you and I would be like, oh, she's about to. We could just sense it. What of these young guys can't? So they, they make her cry and blah, blah, blah. She's kind of hot when they cry. But yo, check it out. Dude, you're sick. I am. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. You know, my ex, she was a streamer when she was trying to cancel me when I broke up with her. Someone told me to go watch her stream when I was streaming once. And then, and then like, they told me her name. Don't you ever go in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. That's what, <laughs> that's what they said. Some people were like, go in this girl's stream. And I was like, ooh. And you then, know her? No, I don't know you her. You fucked her. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Do they, it, please. I, I, I want to live through They you. literally were like go in the stream and then and then i went and but i just looked at it but i didn't pull it on the screen is yet this like years ago no this was like recently this was like like last month and then i was gonna oh, jump in there like no streaming, though. or two months ago i don't know no it was okay recent. yeah yeah it was two recent. months ago two months maybe okay and uh and then everyone else is like no don't do it don't do it like zerk is gonna be so mad and then no, i, I wouldn't there. be mad at all <clears throat> because if you just did a little research it started like it's just a content relationship and I'm not saying that to cope because after she didn't rat on me for almost four years, we could have done with the police and stuff. Then I was deeply Wait, with the police. Didn't I tell you this story last time? About the police? Yeah. Like why we broke up her and I, it was like a whole police thing. I don't think you went over this. Okay. Long story short. Yeah. Right. I G seven the bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't kick me out. No, it's not oh like that. Oh my God. Okay. No, no, no. I would never say that live. Right? Obviously. We've got a lot of catching up to yeah, do yeah, offline. Yeah. But check it out. And I don't want to run from the Fousey thing. Yeah, we go back to it. Nobody knows how to deal with a depressed human. And a lot of therapists are horrible. And this depressed Fousey would stream eight hours. And Ahmed would be like the guy, come on, you could keep going, like pushing him. Very good friend. But the IQ of the people around him or maybe EQ, if you believe in that shit, they just couldn't pick up. And then I realized the chat couldn't pick up. 
the only person who could pick up, dude, I'm just like Fuzi when I have those kind of, ma the mania, right? You've seen me on those clips. It's kind of identical. Even the fucking, when I do like the hand talking, he does. It's like, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. He reminds me of me. So like a pathetic version. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Uh -huh, and, uh, I love Fuzi. When he hit that kid, I was shocked that I was like, that is the season finale of his depression. But I knew there's going to be more because when you get that release of finally the world's telling me to kill myself for years, fuck you. Then you go. Tch. And then, no, no. After the fuck you, you realize now what? And that's when you start spiraling, right? Because you have the release, but it's, it's not like a well, I think it's when it makes you go harder. I think that's when you like realize, oh, wait, I can fucking do this shit. Because yeah. that's what it looked like. Like after that, it's just like. Obviously, view count, everything, and then it just got even crazier. Why I'm hammering this nail into the coffin, it's not like I want to collab with Fuzi or any of that. So I have a lot of stuff I'm doing. Fuzi's going to come back and watch so much content and critique that there's no, no golden nugget to that episode, meaning he'll always live in fear. But if he sees that last episode of his like freakouts. That's the last episode. You're done. You the world got you. You got the world back. As long if he can draw something positive out of that, <clears throat> he can go forward. But if he comes back and just reads, you're crazy, you're this, you're that. If it's all negative, his next climb will be so foggy. He'll be like, what do I have to do? What I right? If yeah. it's the last <clears throat> episode though, his next climb, he could be like, oh, I'm about to hit a kid. Stop. That was the last episode. We never do that again. But if he has no closure, psychic closure, does it any? Am I making sense to yeah, anyone? Yeah, yeah. Why are you all looking at me yeah. like that? No, I'm just letting you finish. I think if Fuzi just looks his soul in the mirror and says, never again. But then he collabs with me. And if he doesn't slap a kid, Luigi doesn't have to. I'm right here. Mario's going to do it. Because let me tell you something. Would it be the worst thing in the world if I slapped a 19-year-old kid? It's an adult. They could go to war at 19. They can go to war at 18. What would happen if I did that? Because like a lot of them run their mouth to me online. I don't know. Nothing. Every, I mean, you know what it is? You're talking about open fist? What, what did Fuzzy do? He did slap. slap. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. And, and he licked it. Did he lick his hand for real? No, he didn't. So, yeah. He said, I slapped the dog shit out of you. I saw it, but he didn't lick it. He licked his hand. No, he didn't just lick it. He licked it like it was some fucking or something. Like, like he was corny. He's like this. And he needed that shit. He was carnage, right? <clears throat> but so here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do you, do you think like, and I was trying to talk, talk about this earlier. Like, are people ever going to get away from this like negative shit is just going to get worse? Like the streaming stuff is going so crazy now. Like you notice Aiden is now going like IRL stuff, going outside. Like, I think the streaming it, itself is going to get crazier. And I think a lot more people are going to try to jump into it. And then I also think like, with that happening, there's going to be more of this sort of like, obviously like the doxing shit, but just in general, just like the negativity around this shit. Cause it just seems like, I don't know. I was talking with Jacob like a few times and we've talked about this about like attention spans and things like that. People have completely lost their attention spans in relationship to just content in general. Which made me rich. Those <clears throat> 10 second shorts makes you rich. Right, Holy but, shit. But it's like where the, it's like we're not developing any sort of, I don't even know how to say it, calm or like, like IQ. It's like, we're just diverting attention. Just here, 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 here. Like people, I'm talking about people who watch all this. Shit. Like very few people actually sit down and watch this entire podcast. A lot do, but not like most the people consume one, it. All of them watched it. Well, the, no, the last uh, one, the one with it's you. bots, right? It's bots. Cause no, I'm no, just no. not funny and talented, right? No, bro. That's not what I meant. When so I said you that. were, when you were giving me a thousand yards there, you were looking at me like, close my door and get the fuck off. No. I knew it. No, my manager's like, "Why did you keep talking to him?" I'm like, "I was telling him that we're gonna do a million views," and yeah. he's like, "I think he felt that something was different that podcast," and I'm like, "Do you think that Bradley thinks it's gonna bang?" He's like, "I don't know what he thinks." He because you're so hard to read when you're just like, "Yeah, John. Oh yeah, maybe it'll do that many views." <laughs> it was so cruel what you were doing to me. It was like, it wasn't like big dicking. It wasn't like it was more like. I felt like the Dog, meth. This is hilarious. I'm telling you, I felt like the meth head who's un unwelcome. You know, it's or funny? I overstayed my visit, you know but funny? I brought groceries. What the fuck? You know, what's funny. I was just tired. 
I was just tired, dude. I was no, tired. No, because I was looping. I said, you know, Brad, this is going to do this. You were thing. outside in front of my house. You were looping for sure. Yeah. And I was also tired. And we did it. We talked for like, I don't know, almost three hours. I was fucking I've, tired. I've never, ever put my any in any podcast history. If I gave you 99%, let's say. I've been usually giving people like 65. I've Because when I finished that, I was like, Brad, I killed the mammoth. And did you see how I didn't let one second of dead air, one second of boring, one, like, I was like, I know Bradley's never going to talk to me again. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to no. make 10 podcasts in one. And at one point you start talking. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is my shit. <laughs> this is my last, last time visiting. And then you said, hey, shut the fuck up. What I'm about to say ruins our friendship, <laughs> but it's so honest. It's so, so honest that he's gonna forgive me. I'm gonna get, yeah. I'm gonna be naked. My, you're yeah. gonna see my soul right now. Okay. The I old, love this. And on Jesus Christ Almighty, the only the first thing I thought when you said, "Hey," right? First thing I thought was, "Oh my God, he's not a live streamer." He's not a live streamer. Yeah. Okay. As in, you're not one of us. As in, that's not live. And you're not going to post the whole thing. I thought, you know, like how YouTubers like, ah, we're not posting the Zerka episode. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, oh, instead of thinking I disrespected your home and I said, Flat Earth, you have to. I was like going crazy. Which is, by the way, if someone did that in my house, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and the whole internet thought you're the bad guy. Bro, It because you know why they thought that? They thought we're friends. Like, you just met me seconds before that. Yeah. It was a stranger talking about and So in your head, you're like, what the fuck is he doing? Now I'm charming, right? Now you know I'm just yeah. on all. No, they don't. But when you said that, the only thing in my head was, if he doesn't post this fucking episode, <laughs> I have his address and I'm about to literally become <laughs> the nightmare to this guy. And I'm like, because everyone asked me, they're like, were you thinking of punching him? All I saw was the next upload, Bradley and Fousey, right? No Zerka. That's all I saw in that split second. And when I told my twin brother and my family and stuff, they're like, you're disgusting. Because you knew you were doing me a favor platforming me when I was going crazy. And then I felt guilty for months. And then I would type it like I wasn't because I always have to. I, I leaked it here, but I would type it and then I would delete it. We, we had that one hour, two hour phone call. Yeah. Right. And it was like deep and emotional. Right. And then we started FaceTiming. No, we didn't do that. <laughs> we right. started FaceTiming. It was, did a FaceTime. We? it was a FaceTime. But we did a FaceTime because the reason why. Oh, some we did a FaceTime, number, but it's up here. Like you're seeing my eyeball. right? Yeah. Well, some random person texts me. This is Zerka's new number. And I was like, bullshit. So then I FaceTimed you to make sure it was you and not some random fucking kid. Yeah. And that, you started saying weird shit to me. I didn't understand that. Really? Yeah, what did I say? Like, just like you're doing it again, the thousand yard stare. Like no, he, you were saying some weird shit. He's treating me like he's just meeting me for the first time again. Why do you, you keep were doing that? You're saying some weird shit. You're to me. sneako, bro. No, we're what friends, bro. What did I say? Weird you're gonna to abandon you? me? We had a great, we had the, the best two hour conversation. Why is it negative? How did you recall it negative? We had a great conversation. No, I'm saying you said some weird shit when I first got on the phone. What did I say? You talked about my eyebrows. No, I didn't. Yeah, what? You did. you did. You don't remember that? What did I say? Like, you like you got really nice eyebrows because I had the phone here, and I was like, "What the fuck?" No, are you I was about? on Facetime. You weren't. How how could you be on Facetime and I'm not on Facetime at the same time? So I called you and I said your eyebrows are ugly. No, you said my eyebrows are nice, bro. This is slander. You bring the lie detector. Bring the Bible. Bring. The are you fu fucking joking me? You're gonna tell one million people are thinking <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking with you, dog. And it kills I me because the eyebrows look good. Right? Just, Mine are hairy. I just had to see you. I had to see what you... I, you know, when he said that, all I could stare at was the eyebrows. I'm like, fuck, he got me. I probably said some. I probably You're like, just, damn, those bitches are nice. I want to say, hey, I want to apologize. In, instead of being like, oh, I disrupt, disrupt, disrupted your... Hold on, what the fuck? It's okay. You got it. Keep going. Hello, there's a gun to my head! <laughs> 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 fuck it, bro. Fuck it, I needed that. You know I'm his biggest fan. I can oh, do that. That was good. That was good. Yeah. That was nice. That was a. That was. <laughs> when he that said, was artful. Remember when he said, "I already gave you that address to the fucking cops." I felt bad, man. No, those cops are stupid. Yeah, bro. I felt bad. Right, but his life's like a movie. 
Honestly. <laughs> when he said, my life's like a movie. Bro. Was, and the one funny cop, right? He's like, you know who I am? I'm famous. He's like, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking cop is the greatest soundbite ever. But what was I saying? I On that phone call, I want to apologize. I was like, I should tell him my first thought was not, I've been to a million people's homes. And if I like walk, let's say on somewhere I'm not supposed to, immediately I feel shame. Like as an Albanian, you were the only human that I was thinking of like, he's not uploading it. He's mad now. <laughs> no. And so I was like, that's the first time I was like, I'm turning into those LA clout people. You know, like the least genuine thing. Because you wanted the video so bad. No, because... I spent w one week with my team freaking out that Bradley is going to take the biggest risk. You know how many big channels didn't? And then when you did that, everyone came after me. I, 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 was, an, I was a white girl, an orgy. They, every YouTuber would get on my shit, but you were the brave one because your content isn't to like dig like fresh fit. So that makes more sense that they took me. Yeah. I got a funny story about how I kind of finessed my way in there. What, fresh and fit? Yeah. Well, also, after, after. Let's finish this right. I, Look, I climbed up the fresh fit. No, I'm kidding. But check this out. I, by the way, I, I was going to... This is what I was trying to remember. I love Myron and Fresh are the most genuine people. Every party I've went to, even when I didn't have status and clout, they would abandon the girls, shake my hand, stay with me, I've never seen that treatment from YouTubers. Now, now that I'm a rock star, I walk in a party. Hey, Zerka, the most genuine people I've ever met are portrayed. They portray themselves and are portrayed wrong. Like Myron, when you watch what media says about him, then you listen to Myron. I used to think he's those guys who like big dick you, you know, the red pill guys. When I give Myron a business idea, this guy has no ego. He goes, Let's do it. And in my head, you know how red pill guys are like, actually, John, I have a better one. You're not going to lead this. If he feels you're being more creative, let's do it. Even at, when I had no followers and, and it worked like, but Myron Fresh Sneeko, the most genuine fucking creators on earth. I mean, Sneeko's so genuine that he'll let you fuck his girl. I, I don't Stop. know what the fuck is wrong with me. I can't fix Just this bridge. Stop, bro. Just he's, fucking... I love shooting at like a brother, God. like he's my twin. Damn it, dude. Just You could have just left it without that part. Well, yeah. And it's okay. I, I, I make fun of him for that too sometimes. I say You know, jabs. the story is blown out of proportion because he was fucking a bitch. Well, also, it was he, a swinger. Like they split. Oh, it wasn't like him fucking with 3D goggles on. Also, like he never had to tell that story too, which is an important part. He didn't yeah. have to. He told the story just like to it was, fucking share brave, it. Yeah. I mean, listen, that's just. Sneeko, if I did that, I could never be on camera because the story would be in my head. So what I do is I leak it, let the internet attack me, adapt, overcome, improvise. Sneeko didn't even think about it. Like, Fuck it, have it. Have all the ammunition. I've never yeah. seen someone do that. But man, was it some bad advice. I think everyone should go through this. Remember when you said that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. But when you watch it, he was doing this. He had a mic. He was doing a comedic bit. The whole thing. I'm saying, no, it was the truth. He was traumatized. Yeah. But he was in comedy mode. So when he said everyone should try this, it was all jokes, that yeah. part. See how I cover for my boy? <laughs> that was good, dude. That was solid. No, I meant that. But check it out. Wait, where are you going? I'm going home. <laughs> I, I'm having Yo. a horrible day. Fuzzy. Fuzzy slapping children that are legal I feel like age. I'm letting Adderall talk right now. <laughs> this is hilarious. I, I, there's so I'm much dope. shit that happened with Fuzzy. I'm trying to go chronologically. When he slapped the kid, okay. he then spat <clears throat> on his yard. Wasn't that fucking awesome? <laughs> what do you mean spat? Did you, I watched this like a hundred times in a row. I didn't, you watch, didn't, even I didn't watch, watch the whole... I watched clips. I didn't see that part. You're not G7. I guess I'm not G7, man. You... That's you I can't watch watched, the whole. I can't watch the whole. But it's Fuzzy. So I know, even when Fuzzy is being boring, he goes, "Oh my god, I don't know what we're gonna." It's so funny. Yeah, I watch. I watch bits and pieces. I watch clips. I can't watch the whole thing. Fuzzy is the greatest entertainer because he's just a weed smoking liberal white woman that is having a bad day, but she feels hot, 
And then he turns into the Muslim racist dad and slaps the shit out the neighbor's kid. It's like you're getting the male and female content. It feels like he's like, a, there's a trinity, right? There's the male, Yusuf, and the female, Fuzi, and then whatever voice. So he has it all. <laughs> yeah. He's got it all. I've, for years, I've never even joked that someone's more entertaining than me. He shit on me. Well, you know what's funny? Sneeko was talking about this when I had this conversation about, uh, like, real life just being more, enta- more entertaining than content that we try to create. What do you mean? We just we were having a conversation about how real life is just more entertaining than the content that, like, people will try to make. Not at all. You don't think so? If you're comparing <clears throat> to Fousey, because Fousey is... Hey, let's script it, Bradley. You push me, I push you. You push me, you push me, I push you. I'm on drugs. <coughs> it's like you don't know where it'll go with Fuzi. You always need. But he's not on drugs. Though. He's just on fucking whatever is antidepressants and some marijuana. It, if someone tells me they're not sleeping, I I don't care if they're sober. I immediately assume they're on drugs. Like I, I I treat it as the same state. Like when there's guys who didn't sleep and they'd come to the nightclub, and you could tell. It's like they hear shit. They're hallucinating a bit. Have you ever gone a few well, days without not, sleep? Yeah, not sleep. I treat it just like drug addicts. I don't give a fuck if you're sober. You're going to be irritable and you're going to slap my ch- my son. You're going to slap my son, Fousey. Yeah. Your son, and, Jack Doherty. By the way, Jack, you, I talk shit when I, when I get my ass kicked. I'm not going to lie. I keep talking. Even when they're walking away and I'm left in blood. But it's because I engage. I intercept the fight. Jack does not engage in the fight, so he can't talk shit. He keeps talking shit to Fuzi, but he won't fight him. And, man, I'm... He should have just cracked him. Why won't you fight a dude 48 pounds heavier than you? Like, what are you, a pussy? He should have just cracked him. Saw what really happened. No, but Jack... I'm over here encouraging violence and shit. No, 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 no. This is all comedy, right? Yeah. If you want to see real comedy, Fuzi's the greatest, dude. But to me, it was weird that, like, that kid never learned his lesson... Just today with the Island Boys, they released a video. They're choking the life out of him for talking shit. He, so he talks shit to That's everyone. That's got to be fake. <laughs> At this point, it's got to be fake then because they know it went up. It's not fake <clears throat> when it's... Island Boys are on drugs. Yeah, but they all... They, bro, they all know... Aren't they living in a house? That, are these all these people living in a house together doing Think this of content? It, if you went downtown... Are they and, living in a house together? I don't know anything about their... They were on a boat. Did you see the clip? But I feel like they're all living in that house that Fusi went to visit. We interrupt this podcast for probably one of the most important announcements in your in your life and also in my life, food. That's right, Trifecta Nutrition. If you guys have been like playing the guessing game with like how many calories you need or how what kind of like food you should prepare, what kind of food is better than this or that, like for, forget all of that. I mean, you can figure out your calories if you want to figure them out, you should. As far as guessing what food you should or shouldn't eat and like what meals, how to prepare them, et cetera, all the guesswork, gone. TrifectaNutrition.com slash Bradley Martin. I want you guys, you should be doing this if you haven't already been doing this. Get a routine with your eating habits. One of the biggest things that I would say, all the guesswork as far as like, why am I not seeing this result? Why am I not seeing this gains? Whatever, whatever I'm going towards. Once I erase all like the guesswork and like the, the randomness of my meals, I saw results so much quicker because people don't understand how important I think, I think people do, but don't really, really truly understand how important having food in a consistent way, the right food, the right amounts of food throughout the day, as far as energy levels, results, progress, like just so much stuff is revolving around what you eat and what you put in your body, how you feel every day, day to day, how good you sleep, like so much stuff. The food, everything you put in your body is so, so important. Trifecta Nutrition, best quality, best ingredients, is super simple. Tons of like plants you can go through if you want like keto or if you want like low carb or high protein, whatever, whatever like your diet style that you're working on. If you go there right now, trifectanutrition.com, Sass Bray Martin, this picture of me, stuffing myself with with uh steak here is gonna pop up and you can get 30 percent off your order so it's super simple literally just go here trifectanutrition.com slash bradley martin and then uh it's simple you just pick the plan they help you with like organizing it how you guys like based on your goal whatever they whatever you're deciding and so when i do that i always feel the best like again mentally physically everything so trifectanutrition.com slash bradley martin 30 percent off start today let's get back into this podcast with the Island Boys and Jack? Really? I don't know, man. It seems like they're all... That's like a thing. That's why he went over there and did content. Uh-uh. I feel like it's fake. I don't think what Fousey did was fake. You know why I think it's real? Island Boys to me are like meth heads. I've been around meth heads. Have you ever play wrestled with a meth head? No, but I saw a satellite yesterday. D- wait, 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 wait. I swear to God. Wait, 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 wait. If you play wrestled with a meth head and they got an RNC on you, 
you really think they're playing with you or are they going to try and kill you? If they're on drugs. That's why I think the Island Boy stuff gets real fast. Explain the satellite I saw, dude. You saw blinking light. I saw a satellite. You saw blinking light. No, I saw a satellite <clears throat> crash. What? And I went up to it. Yeah. You're such a bad high desert. liar. I was you in the high desert. Great eyebrows. Bro. I, you saw a satellite crash. I was in the high desert. You're a YouTuber who didn't film that. Uh, bro, I don't. He, my guys aren't always with me. Oh, you don't have a phone? I don't pick up my I phone. I got his ass. Would you, how the fuck? A satellite crashed and it didn't. I'm make, not saying I saw the crash. I'm saying I, it's, I saw it on the ground. Oh. NASA has 95% of Earth's helium. Because most satellites, they this put up with fake. a helium this balloon. sounds fake. Go to the man I'm interviewing tomorrow is the man who is going to be on Joe Rogan. His name's Eric Dubay. So he's the biggest flatter channel that popped out in 2017. And then, you know, it got suppressed. I'm interviewing him three hours tomorrow. When you click on his website. What's his name? Eric Dubay. Eric Dubay. And he does all sorts of conspiracies. Like he'll debunk dinosaurs. So you'll never believe in dinosaurs after a 10 minute video. So you really believe dinosaurs are just not real. <clears throat> you don't believe them, Brad. I kind of do though. T- a little bit. So you believe mainstream media, Jurassic Park. T- like <sighs> here's what I was trying to say last time. Dinosaurs before man, as in before the Bible. Aliens. God created the a- attack on the Bible. It's always... If it didn't attack the Bible, it wouldn't be so obvious. But also... Um, you don't those, think those things could coexist? Like, No. Why not? Because we're special. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we're not special, that they're there. That, that doesn't make us less special. That's like saying because there's giraffes that we're less special. Brad, I'm just going to do this to you, okay? Yeah, do it. Every I love when you do this. Sing- All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to Do it, do it, do it. Every single photo of space, Mars, Jupiter is fake computer generated and last time you were here you looked at your phone you're like maybe they're fake do you know no, what you're looking Google, at? i know what you're looking satellites at. every comment who dm'd me they said are you crazy i got millions of comments saying i've been scrolling for 30 minutes and they're all fake photos every satellite except one the iss international space station on ericdubay.com there's a George Bush senior documentary. They're falling around. He's like in a wheelchair, the demon in the background of the NASA where they were. You crop zoom and it's an astronaut. You can see which astronaut it is. And he has a gr- blue screen chroma key. It's like a green screen. And he's playing with this, this green ball. So a blue screen, but a green ball is right. And I'll post on my Twitter just so I don't look crazy. And then we looked at his clothes, haircut, and what he was playing with. The next month, they released water congealing in zero gravity. You know how water you congeals? They created that shit? It's particle effects. And Hold on. have you seen how many astronauts have fallen when they're like floating in zero G? The funniest clip, Brad. Oh, an astronaut is floating like this because they they use a parabolic plane. You guys know what that is, right? How do you explain this? What is this? It says, this is how Japan attacked Pearl Harbor according to Flat Earthers. Like it went all the way around. Yeah. Okay, let me show yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're using a Mercator <laughs> map. I love This okay. is a Mercator. What is the map of Flat Earth? It's the United Nations flag. The Azimuthal Equidistant mm-hmm. map. What? Just search up Azimuthal Equidistant <clears throat> map. This is the as a monthful. Yeah. So you know how there's billions of maps. How the fuck you spell that? Uh, yeah, write it. <clears throat> Let this me. This guy really believes his shit, right? Yeah. Like a hundred percent. Right. I love. You're gonna. I you're love. gonna hate me right now. I don't care. I don't. You're care. gonna hate me right now. Shut the. I f- have faith in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I, do, I know I Jesus is real. But look at this. I. Give me my I, fucking phone. I, oh, <laughs> I know Jesus is real, but. I am more certain of flat earth. I know that no, sounds like blasphemy. shut the fuck That's up. What's, having faith means you struggle even 1%. Everyone struggles. No. Flat earth is undeniable because it's in the material world. It doesn't need faith. You can literally measure it. As a month old equidistant. It's the only map that's... Look at, look at the top corner. It's, it says it's the only map of earth that is scientifically as is. As in don't change it. And now look how scary this is. 
Brad, look at this map. It's the United Nations flag, not just that. The Meteorological Association flag, your space people. What else? The maritime that controls the waters because you're not allowed to go south. This is the Antarctica is that ice wall all around. So it's the globe, but stretched out and North Pole's in the middle. Now there's going to... But that's just the earth like this. No, think of it... It's like if it was round and they just went like this. Yes! You're the... You know, nobody understands that. Even high level people, you get what it is, right? Yeah, I see it. Think of a... You're thinking of a balloon earth and then they... Yeah. Ripped it. Exactly. And we can never explain. The audience is so stupid. They'll never get what you just did. I've, I've debated physicists, doctors, engineers, and a NASA employee that I humiliated on Twitch. It was viral. But check it out. They all lost to me miserably. And it was hilarious. If you could explain what you said about how it opened. Yeah. If you could, I give you $1 million. Your chatters my No one watching this will under, will be able to understand what you said. Try and explain it. I, see, I can explain try, that. No, no, I can try explain, explain that it. extremely easily. It's so hard, bro. This no, it's is not. the only, but no, no, no. It's not for us, but the average Joe that's not a famous millionaire like us. Okay. Well, no, Antarctica is at the, them. yes. Okay. Antar- As a month equidistant, explain where Antarctica is. You're talking about the, the, the top or the bottom part? This around or here? Yeah, around. That okay. would be Antarctica, right? Okay, so Antarctica would then be the entire crust. Basically, like, imagine, like, the if the Earth was so a circle. So here's Antarctica, the landmass. Yeah. Which, and, if you want to shit your pants right now. And then it would be a circle, and we basically went like this to it. Yes! And now look at this. Give me that. Get ready. Where the f- is the South Pole on a compass? Yo, on the yeah. Well, it's there, not. There is no yeah. South Pole. Well, the center. But the center that would be. There is no South Pole because. Well, let me see. The compass is a flat Earth instrument. Look at this. North, right in the middle, magnetic north, right? That it only points north, not south. Well, the South Pole that I know is in the center on the bottom. But look at this. Look. Just you're, to be clear, you mother. No, no. Look at this. Look at this. You're looking at a compass, Brad. Look at this. North. How do you circumnavigate just like airplanes, the sun, east to west this way? And which way would be south? 180 degrees away from north, meaning south is this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Always the point out, right? So if you're going to the, it's not an ice wall, it's the highest shoreline on earth, go on Wikipedia, that's Antarctica. And look at this. So if north is here, south would be down that way, that way, that way, that all every so, okay. direction. So as long as you're flying question. out, you really southward. Believe, okay, but you really believe this, right? So if someone got in a plane and just drove, flew straight this way, they're eventually going to fall off the map. What do you mean straight this way? What? Like if I got on a plane, right, and I flew directly this way, yeah, and eventually I just go off the fucking you're map. Not allowed. Military waters and uh, military zones, uh, military skies. Antarctica, illegal to explore. You can't fly over it, not because it's so cold. That's not the reason. The only person who flew over the North Pole was the Queen's brother. Like as a whatever. The North Pole is locked. Justin Trudeau. Who is Who is Justin Trudeau? Justin Trudeau. There's a clip in my documentary coming out, but you can find on YouTube where he talks about a secret military base. You're not allowed to go to North and South Poles. And here's where I win. Ready for Exodia? Brad, I dare you to Google Antarctica from space right now. And don't, <laughs> don't answer. Don't say yeah. anything. You Google it. You Google it on your phones. Antarctica from space. I want the room quiet. I want to fill with shame. Like an like yeah. image? Yeah. I want nobody talk. Just stare at your phones. I want to look at your eyes. Antarctica from space. Yeah. And show me. You're talking about like this? <laughs> You're hilarious. Scroll, scroll. Look at all of them. Look at them. Can you see? What the fuck are you looking at, Brad? You know what you're looking at. I'm crazy. Oh, G7 slap a child, bro. Brad, you know why you're smiling, dude. Uh, you're you're being tortured right now. You feel duped. Because Someone all, talk! Because they're all fake. They're all, and they're not, and they're not even the good fakes. He, look, he's looking and he can't he's find one real too. one. You guys are adults paying a hundred million dollars a day to 25 Nazis started Operation Paperclip, started NASA, which means to deceive in a certain oh, language. Dude. 
Dude. Wait, wait, wait. This one looks pretty good. Let's see. This one looks really good, bro. Look at this. That looks good. What is that? I don't know. This shit looks really good. It, it looks good because they, they took... This is like 10% of it. I want the whole thing. Okay. From well. space. Like from your satellite. I mean, it looks... Okay. By the way, they say it's $100 million for tax. $100 million of tax revenue for one Who says CGI that? satellite. One satellite costs that much. Bro, if there's that you many... Think it's money, you, think, you think part of this is money laundering or what? <laughs> God damn it. It's a military wing. NASA's literally a military wing. Why would you collect money? What did the military do with Halliburton when they went into the Middle East? Right? Remember when they said one million Iraqis died and they said, Bro, oops, my bad? You know what I should have done? What did before Bush this? say? He said, my bad. We didn't mean to go into Iraq. Bro, they lie all the time. I they steal I, money. I believe that. I believe that. I wish I wish that I spent a lot more time looking into this before you came back on because this would have been a lot more fun. I apologize. No, 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 right no, now. no. You, first of all, Brad, this is wow. Brad, Brad, want to see something crazy? It is all I will fucking fake. I will send you a clip of the NASA employee I debated and all I said in the opener was find me a picture of Antarctica from space and she's doing this, yo. She's scrolling and she started like shaking and the whole chat's calling her a fucking stupid <laughs> Everyone... I, you know who the the only person in the room that didn't call her a stupid bitch was me because I knew I was winning. I didn't want to taint my victory. NASA employee humiliated herself in front of two thousand viewers years ago. Did you try? Did you try to find some too, Jacob? And and it goes further. This one's pretty good. <laughs> check this. Check this. Give me that. Give it's me that. Not good at check all. This if this is the worst one. Yeah. When you go to YouTube, Red Bull Jump. This is. Definite proof that everyone watching is an idiot. <laughs> yeah. This shit's so funny to me, dude. Because I really like... Brad, this is your Red Bull jump, right? What is wrong with what you're looking? Oh, I remember watching this. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with what you're looking? What are you looking at, Brad? What's wrong with the earth? Isn't the earth supposed to be 80% water? Look, look, look. I'm going to pause it. Look. Go to Red Bull Let jump. Let me see it. Let me see it. Go to Red Bull jump. You're telling me all of Earth is New Mexico? The Earth is 100% landmass. There's no oceans. Why the is curve the is way? on the wrong way. Why is that the wrong way? What it's you... concave. Because look, it's going to distort into level, which it is Earth's flat. But look at this. It's going to correct the lens. It's a fisheye lens. Look, look, look. Look. Now the Earth is round. Because it's a fisheye. No. Is... Millions I mean... of people didn't see this. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but what about this part? But, Brad, go, go no, to the no. beginning of the video. I don't get it. I don't get what you're saying. Do you get saying. what I'm saying? This is what I mean. The most simple thing I'm showing and no one can see it. It's terrifying. I'm like... But you're talking like, about... What, it's what, like Twilight Zone. But what angle is it filmed from, though? Dude, the curve of the Earth goes from concave to, to linear to convex. Because it's a fisheye. You know a fisheye can distort? Right. Right? So look. Look. This, the, here's the curve. It's supposed to be like this, right? Yes. Right? Just like McDonald's, right? Yeah, but you're looking at the thing from the, uh, the direction no, on no, this No, no, look, look, look. It's a fisheye. They always use fisheyes. They always distort the earth. Look. It's a fisheye. Look, it's a fisheye lens. Look at the horizon. Hor hor it's a horizontal horizon. Look, look, look. It corrects the lens. And it's back to earth normal. You see it? Yeah, but uh, listen, I listen. It's tell me it's not a fisheye. And number two, why the fuck is all of Earth New Mexico? There's not even a fucking pond. There's supposed to be oceans, bro. It's all landmass. Like go to the beginning of the video. People fell for the Red Bull jump. Wow. Well, and they've never once. And you know what? They've never once used when they go out there in low Earth orbit, like they say. They've never used a non-fisheye, but guess who did? Random flat earthers. So there's thousands of random dudes who put a weather balloon that could go that, that high up. They say that's 100,000 feet in altitude. We could go up to 120,000 if you and I $800 weather balloon with a camera, all that. Many of people have done independent experiments. Now look at this. This is the scariest thing, Brad. When you go to NASA.gov, right? The military wing. Go to NASA.gov at 60,000 feet. The curve looks like this. Like, it looks like Earth. Then go look at independent study photos. Thousands of people who make no money, poor, 
random people or, or just some, you know, maybe they're middle class. Thousands of photos of thousands of different weather balloons from Australia, Canada, all, any part of the earth. At 120,000 feet in altitude, the horizontal horizon is a motionless plane. But NASA says way below. So NASA photos look like this. And us, random guys who go much higher, look like that. Like Picard said with an upturned edge. So meaning Antarctica. What, what, do you think, what do you think Elon Musk is on then? Give me that phone. I'm destroy your life. No. In 10 seconds, last video, you said Elon Musk. First what, of all, yeah, that's like, government subcontracted SpaceX. I am about to actually destroy your world. So they never go to Mars? Is that give, a real give thing? Give me the phone. Okay. Everyone search up. This is so funny. SpaceX, 11 million people got duped by this. Bro, I can't wait to see your reaction. Go to SpaceX SN10. <laughs> that's the rocket's name, SN10. Get ready for trauma. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna be just like that Jack kid right now. I'm gonna slap you. You're gonna the slap truth. me? Yeah. Give me this shit. This Hold is on. funny, man. Let's go to the I mean, timestamp Starship SN10 high altitude flight recap. Go to one uh, for SpaceX. Uh, SpaceX, this video got 2.9 million views two years ago. So go to that. Go to the timestamp one minute and 10 seconds. You are about to see CGI transition and lens flare. So they'll shoot rockets and they all, the trajectory always arcs. It never goes straight up, which is hilarious because they shoot from Florida into the Bermuda Triangle always. And, oh, you can't go there, right? But, but they say this rocket can land and, you know, SpaceX, look at this. I sound crazy. You do. It's funny though. Get ready. I'm curious. I'm like, up your brightness because you, you're trying to like you're trying to dim the truth. Look at this. <laughs> you're dumb. Look. Look at the transition. Look when it transitions. Lens flare. Video game. Okay, that that was. That is the fakest yeah, shit. Yeah, that ever was seen. fake. Yo, Give wait, it to me. Wait, Give wait, it to wait. me. Hold on. Wait, wait. Look at look, look look look. So you guys are on the same page. Look 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 when it transitions. So Jacob will know. Look at look at the lens flare. Come on, two That looks like a fake lens flare. I'm not gonna lie. And they always do these transitions. Okay, but okay. What do you think the point of the this whole fucking shit is? What's the point of it? Why why be like it's flat? Or why be like it's round? Like what's the point? What's the point of? <laughs> You're the rudest person. He's like <laughs> shooting a rocket while I'm talking. Why are you hold doing on, that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to watch it one more time. YouTubers are rude, bro. He's like, what's the point? I'm playing this. Yeah, I mean, that was bullshit. And, and, and Brad, Brad, this is the argument I want to make. Just bef I don't want to forget this. Yeah. I, I think we should send in a rocket Fousey and Jack up there. See Dude. how long Fousey and Jack can last if they're floating together. We should have them report back and tell us if it's flat or can, not. If we put them in a space station to get along well, and we gonna, send Fousey pictures of Jack's cars. Aren't they already sending like billionaires and shit? Like Virgin is like doing this shit. Like billionaire you're going to trust. Look at this, Brad. Thousands of people did 120,000 feet in altitude pictures. They made no money. You're not going to trust those thousands of independent scientific no, no, studies. I, I got to look at that. I've never looked or, at any of that. The only difference from NASA and flat earthers is NASA's taking a hundred million dollars a day. And flat earthers are just saying you're being scammed. We're not winning. Do I make but money? What's the point? What's the point? I lose money. I people, a lot of people, they, Thank you for buying my dating course, but I could I could do even better if I wasn't a flat earther. But the truth is important. I don't mind losing credibility. The point for flat earth is the same point for evolution and dinosaurs and aliens. They all attack the creation story of Genesis. And you're not special. There's aliens. You're not special. There's things before that that debunk your book. You're not. Uh, you can go up there to the heavens and blah blah blah. But when you look at this, it's like. It's so obvious. Mainstream media, Jurassic Park, they pump out dinosaurs, ancient aliens. If there's a real conspiracy, it's not being pumped out in Discovery Channel. If it's a real conspiracy, it's not on TV. Like if it's like something they want to hide. If they're pumping aliens, aliens, every day on Fox News, when we saw another thing, they're coming, they're coming. And people are just bored. They're like, oh God, not this shit. By the way, they haven't even gone back to the moon since like the fucking 70s. And you know why they say they haven't gone back to the moon? And astronaut Don Petit, his name is, there's a clip of him, went viral. He said, we haven't gone to the moon 
because we lost that technology and it's a painful process to build it back up. And I'm like, why Mars? Why are you trying to go to Mars then? What the fuck? And when you look at Mars, all CGI. But the thing that scares me the most is, forget Flat Earth and all this, you went, you're 30 years old, you went 30 years of your life not noticing it's CGI. You can, so I never if really I look, brought I you, really if I shit. brought him a CGI girl, he wouldn't know if it's real. I never. Looked if I sent you, nudes, no, no, but billions of people on Earth can. You know why I can easily see it? I'm an artist. I was, it, I was failing my class in high school, but they enrolled me in a genius program just for art, and I smoked the genius kids, the rich kids. But be, because I'm an artist, it's so easy for me to see. It's so. Fun. What it's, kind of art you make? I, I, I sketched all my life. Just sketch. Right? Actually. Yeah. Or if I shoot a bitch's face, you know how far I can wow. shoot? You know how far? That's amazing. Can you? I mean, okay, apparently yeah. it's an amazing thing. Can, can I shoot it? Like a, a lot of guys told me they can't. Like, who are well, you talking to guys about this shit? The earth is flat, Brad. Okay. Cause yeah, that was. <laughs> okay. I don't know but where you're going out. with that. Talking to a lot of guys about how far right. you can shoot your nuts a little Let's sus. Let's get serious. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you if that watch is fake or not right now. Hand it to me. <laughs> and check this out put it to your ear put it to the fucking microphone and then let's I don't get back no man put it to the camera please this is a why won't you put it to the camera brad i mean this is you see yo why are this? you fucking throwing zoom it around bro zooming on this i'm just playing this, jane this is but a, now check it out hold on brad i mean this is a little interesting feeling they're wearing don't you dare. I'm just, a, it just You're feels on weird. steroids, bro. It just feels weird. It looks weird on you. No, no. Your this, hands are like fucking huge. This just feels weird. What are you going to do to it? No, it just feels. Try it. it just feels, Try it. It just feels different, man. I don't know if it's real. I, I have a feeling he's. I know what he's doing. He's going to be. I know. If he does that, like we're fucked. I'll, like, I'm not I'll, in fighting I'll, shape. I'll, uh, what I'll, the? Are you actually taxing? No, I'll send this to my guy and I'll make sure it's like real or not. I'll wear it you for a day. You know what's the worst thing is I literally wouldn't do shit. I would actually just go home because I got it. a career. He could literally blackball me from... Imagine if you said Zerka's crazy. No one would work with me because you know everyone. But no, I'll just I'll wear it for a little bit and just make sure it's good. That's nothing to you. you I know what you own. You own like 10 fucking albums. No, no, no. But check it out. Think of that Island Boys watch. They're wearing $80,000 bust down diamond watches, necklaces, but there's a whole conspiracy about them being in debt. Have you seen that? No. Now, no. Think about it. How much money could you make from your brother? Like, really? That's the weirdest shit on the planet. I would never do. That's just. But I didn't I ask think you that's, if you would. How much do you think they made? I don't know, man. Like they're saying it, there's no a huge idea. market for it. It's not that big. I, don't, I think it's no. There. I, I don't think there's real, bro. And I'm gonna press you guys in person. But they're on my stream. They're very nice to me. Like, like I yelled at them. I said, I'm going to fucking G7 them and shit. And then I realized they're likable guys. Why they fight with the world is they, they have that image to be made fun of, like with tattoos and spiky hair and yeah. shit. They, I love, I don't care how stupid you are. When you're a human taking on battles on all fronts, everyone can get it. These are my favorite kind of humans. I know they're self-destructive, but you know Humans who pick their battles, I don't trust those types of people. I'd rather see those Vegeta types who are always, you know what I, you know what I mean? Because it's like, let's say the Island Boys behaved correct. You think the world's not going to fuck with them? They're going to they're gonna be fucked with either way, how they look, how they talk and shit. So I like that. But they did that on purpose. Even if they look normal, just how they talk and they don't want to do school and they don't want to think and they just want to be whatever they're, whatever they want to be. Even if they acted normal, the world would fucking bully the shit out of them. So I love that everyone who says something, they try and fight them. It, <laughs> it reminds me it's of funny. like when I was liberated from my past self into like, dude, there was, a, there was a time in my life where I had like eight real beefs. Like if it would be on site in person. Like not internet beefs. Yeah, in, in, on the streets. But it was, some people were like cities away and stuff. But that feeling of every part of town or that town, every, I have an enemy everywhere. You per, that's when you perform the best. That's when I went viral. I touched the microphone for the first time on that podcast, the Austin show, mm -hmm. dating show. I pulled the gun. I said, did half a million views overnight. 
under maximum pressure, <clears throat> right? That's why Fuzi's so relatable to me. When he doesn't sleep and shit, under pressure, I perform. Even for everything, sports, everything. Like, man, I remember even soccer games where I didn't sleep. I don't want to come to the game. There's something about me when I'm cracked, I'm better. And a lot of people... Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, I ask you're you a bodybuilder, so sometimes you stress your central nervous system, do crazy bench and dead. You're completely dead. And then someone encourages you to go dead more for a camera and shit. Yeah. And you fucking pull it out of nowhere. So I asked you, I saw a clip about Mike talking about Logan, talking about he's attacked from all sides, all angles, all, all pressure. Mike Kinda Malak? Rem- Mike Malak said that about Logan. He was on Jeff's pod. Um, what do you think about the Logan and, and Dennis fight? And now this is the situation We're staying right here for six hours. I just realized how much content we have to cover. We, we have haven't to, even started Logan. We have to talk about this. This is huge. Like, first of all, Logan, I'm just going to do it in a positive way because you're a hundred million dollar Chad. Yeah, yeah. Marrying a nobody who spent her whole life in play while you put, he spent his whole life in work and not regular work torturing himself he was canceled japan he went through hell nobody understands when you're given your dreams and then they're taken from you you're on jimmy kimmel and then now you're not you have to go to wwe you can't break into hollywood anymore it's over because wwe japan. is dope though i'm saying logan's original trajectory before japan was right right jimmy kimmel that's like yeah, where yeah, conor yeah. mcgregor goes right and that's why logan became a liberal bitch because he saw all the fucking hollywood dreams stripped from him because of Japan, which, like, how hard is it to not film a dead body, bro? <laughs> Fucking. Uh, imagine Logan. Do we have a good angle? Should I zoom? Like, yeah. And there was a team of them, and none of them corrected it. So imagine. They were all bro- riding that wave of, like, man, the next yeah. video is going to be crazy. No, I have a feeling. No, no, no. Logan I know. Had did you hold on? Team. But did you. Sure. But did you watch the video when it first posted? I've never seen it okay. in my life. I watched that video because I used to watch all his videos. He filmed that. He filmed that video that you that everyone saw the clip that went viral in the forest. He filmed that. Before he posted it, he went and filmed an intro sequence to that video. What the f- are you talking uh, about? On everything. This is the biggest hit piece ever. This is not what a hit mean? piece. I'm what's gonna... up, guys? Today we got a dead Chinese. No, no, Chinese this is not a hit piece. Japanese. No, no, no. Listen, he did listen. a what's up, guys. Make sure you listen, smash that dead listen, button. Listen, stop. Listen. Let me just, before you go She's crazy. He's evil. Hold on. Let me tell you. This was the, I, I don't know if people remember this or not, but he filmed the video, obviously, right? Because, you know, we make con- get content and then you go, okay, let's do an intro sequence or like I'll film an ad for the podcast or whatever, right? And I'll put it in after. Because in that video, I remember watching it. He stands in front. Of, he's like somewhere in the streets of Japan and it looked like nighttime. Yeah. And he's like, I'm about to do what no YouTuber has ever done. But he did an intro sequence to that video. So he knew exactly what he was doing for sure. But like, I don't think he genuinely thought that it was going to be that much of a problem. How many people know what you know right now? Well, like, I mean, anyone who watched the video when it first came out, because I think it was up for like... Well, where, where's the mainstream critique that he had the intro? I don't think people pick that up. because I don't. That's think what under- I'm saying. They don't even pick up Flat Earth. They're so stupid. People just don't see this they, shit. Well, they're not YouTubers, right? They well, just see the bit. If there's an intro, Logan's character looks way different now. There was it an doesn't intro. look like a momentary, oh... Because I think it was up for like seven or nine hours or something like that, because it was banging. What did he say? What did he say in the mm-hmm. intro? Do you remember it? Not word for word. I just remember he was standing there. He was being filmed. It was smiling? like nighttime. Yeah, he was like, I'm about to do what no YouTuber has ever done. He wasn't like, I guess he was smiling. He was like, he oh, was like introing the video. So he planned to go and find? I don't know what his plan was. I'm just telling you, they filmed whatever they filmed. And then I saw the intro sequence. Here's the, here's the one zillion dollar question. If he didn't find that body that day, do you think he would have extended his trip until he did? I have no idea. That, I didn't know what he was doing. If that question would answer if he's with the devil or not. I because if he says, guys, I'm about <clears throat> to do something what something no one's ever done before, that energy is I'll stay. I'll wait. I'll find that. Gotta catch them all. That's that you know what I mean? That's the Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Damn. Like I think he would have stayed, and in his head he was thinking he's CNN, like a journalist, maybe. Well, but, but, I mean, he did an inch. I'm not going to lie. That's the one thing that I saw that I was like, like you said right now, no one addressed that because I don't think people understood like how you, you know, YouTubers their the mindset is like content. And then, okay, now we can film an intro based Dude, on I this. defended Logan for years. Cause I said, 
He's an airhead. You've seen him on podcasts. He can't string a sentence together. He can only entertain, really. No. Uh, so to be fair, to be fair, I think he, I mean, he was what? How old when he did that? 19, 20? Like he was like 22? Like you he was were young. 22 at once at one point in your life. You wouldn't have done that. Stop. I would have no, never done that. No one here, no one's. No, no, I'm, I'm not. Obj- Most I'm not, YouTubers wouldn't have done it. Like I hate when we say he's no, no, no. 19, so you that's can take I'm, an axe. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying because of the age. I'm saying because of the pressure. It was like the time when him and his brother were like competing to have like to the f- big vlogs. Our girl. He f- his brother's girl. Okay. And that's fucking, that is so fucking low, dude. Cause Jake, if you watch it chron- chronologically, it's always Jake is the bad guy to the public, but he's always been an angel to his brother. Jake is the, I would kill for a brother. I love my two brothers. I, w- I don't want Jake, right? But actually, Come here, Jake. You got money and clout. The fuck <laughs> am I saying? Stupid. Come here and bring that girlfriend of yours. Oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, what's up, bitch? What are you going to do? <laughs> well, I'll take him. I'll take him right now. You but not in could? a boxing ring. Right. You don't think I'd win on a street? Oh, I, no, I'm, I'm not. I'd I'm... yank him by his last two hair follicles. The fuck? But check this out. All my life could not find one reason to dislike Jake Paul. You watch my VODs for years. I would defend him. for a, When he jumped on the news van, I said, fake news. Like I was encouraging it, but I was way late, years late. I've never once watched the video of Jake Paul where I, where I said he's a bad guy. Every time I've seen Jake Paul with the whole world making fun of him, he got so angry like Fousey, everyone's stabbing him. F- it, I'm gonna knock everyone out. He turned into that. He's a spectacle, loved it. And when you watched him in Big Bear training, when Jake Paul's training, you can see in his eyes, <laughs> There's unresolved trauma. Oh, yeah. But he needs to do it through motion. He's not talking to a therapist. He's not listening to his liberal friends. And when I saw him in Big Bear training, forgive. Like, imagine Shane Mosley training, you forgive. Right? That's like Mike Tyson <clears throat> training me for Jack. Fuck's his name? <laughs> Come Jack on. Doherty. I would be funnier if I remember names. Jack Dorkey. Now, check it out. Jake. Not one bad thing to say about. What's something he did bad Like that the media talks about? I can defend anything. There's something Nothing. about Jake. He can be cringe. I get it. <laughs> everyone says cringe, cringe. Like not everyone can be like, you know, like good with their words and shit. Who cares? He's good with his hands. There's this burning heterosexual. I, I know why Jake was ostracized from everyone in LA, but Logan wasn't. When people think Jake is like some hype beast. No, he's not. He can go away for two months off camera to just train. That's monk-like. You know, hey guys, I got a vlog. He's literally, he beat all of his past demons and future demons when he said to his brother, but you last have time trauma you to here, unpack. He said, you have trauma to unpack. Hold on. His older hold brother, on, hold on, hold on. his older sister. Last little. time you were on here, you said Jake was fucking channeling demons and shit. And you were not fucking with that. Now all of a sudden, you never said anything bad about Jake. Bradley, I used to stare at women who harmed themselves. John, do you love me? And I would stare. What does this have to do with what I just fucking said? I'm, I, I, we're going full Christ, circle. Look, bro. I used to stare at all my girlfriends. And they okay. Go, Please tell me, where were you? It was 3 a.m. And they're You panicking. were talking to the dudes about how far you could shoot your nut. I, I just went for a cigarette. Okay, okay. You went for a cigarette. I used to watch my girlfriend, whether it's long-term, little. Get f***ed by another dude like Sneeko. Sorry, Full I'm sorry. Full circle. Sorry, sorry. The end of the Zerk. Okay. Roll the credits for Zerka. We're done. Stop. No, I'm That's the straightest God. guy on. I swear to God, I'm the straightest guy on YouTube with Jake Paul s- second place. Mike Can Malek. Sell me a beanbag? He used to sell beanbags and he's like, hello. And this is Logan. Hello, I need a beanbag to look funny for my YouTube. Bro, can Why you, you get me that one? accent though? That's all Logan has. He's an American, but he has an accent. It's very, he's like an immigrant American. Have you heard him? Dude, what? dude, what are you talking about? What? You, Logan Paul has an accent. He doesn't sound like an American. Really? You sound like an American. I, Logan has this, like, and you know, oh, Logan, I never noticed that. Logan Paul always has this face when he's like attempting thought and he's like this. And it looks like an alien trying to pretend they're human. Stop. And stop. I swear stop to it. God. Stop it. At least a hundred times on his podcast. I thought you said aliens weren't real. So which I, one is it? Look at you. 
Can't even answer that right now. Look at you. It's not absolute, right? Okay. Oh, L- now it's not Logan, absolute. Logan, I have faith in Logan. He's human. Okay. But check it out. You, of course, Logan. You look like you glitched there for a I second. know Logan's human, right? He goes to the gynecologist. He's a fucking pussy that snaked his brother. Stop. Like, look at the fucking little bitch. Stop, stop. And look at this. Your ego negotiates with your intellect. Your intellect tells you to like, hey, you can make more money drug dealing and stuff. But I used to watch my girlfriends cry and sob. <laughs> Do you love me? Do you? And I went for a cigarette. She thought I went and cheated or did. So- and I wouldn't tell her that I went for a cigarette. And I used to be like this. I can't pay rent and this bitch is going to leave me. Let the bitch suffer. And she's screaming and she can't touch me or anything because I'll literally break up with her. Jake Channel Demons. I did that. I used to beat. I was the only bouncer on footage who would get on top of people and finish them. You, you're supposed to fucking hold people down as a security guard. I used, if a small dude hit me first, I swear I treated him like Francis Ngannou. Like he was the biggest. Yeah. Dude. Like I've never, and you know what's funny is I swear I get stronger with short dudes. I feel like I'm put, put, punching through them. The video that got me banned from Instagram is this dude <clears throat> holding his head and he lets go of it right very little blood and stuff literally concave like this from the halo test and punching i swear to god my life who's this fucking no 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 who's that logan's wife no stop (laughs) stop let's talk about that a little bit let's talk about the dance thing jake seems straight to me he's never done anything weird you know what's funny about interviewing you I feel like I'm like wrangling like a fucking uh, a bull. You're doing great though. He's doing great. It's it's interesting. Because right? go I, ahead. Because my biggest fear is if I rewatch it, and I go, I forgot to say that Logan Paul has a dick in his ass. No, bro. I need to remember the big stuff. So all I was trying to say is, you don't f- your brother's ex. Okay. Especially when he's going, he was like 18 or like he was just forming his brain. But here's where Jake Paul's character shows. After all the trauma he endured of his brother f***ing with him to impress chatters, who's the most loyal person in Logan's life? It's Jake. It is Jake. It's scary how loyal he is. Well, maybe Mike. What? In Logan's life? A yes man is more loyal? This is Mike. Logan Paul goes, should we film a story? And Mike goes, I can't tell him. Well, Mike wasn't there. Mike wasn't there. Mike has never said no to Logan in his life. And I don't take, know if that's true. No, bro. he takes pride of telling Logan no when he senses Logan's going for the no. I've watched, a, I used to react to their series and I get 2,000 views roasting them, right? I'd them and I'd pause and I psychoanalyzed Logan Paul's, did you see his behavior on Andrew Schultz? I need a drink. And he's not a drinker. He was rattled for what Dylan Dennis is violating him, right? And in my head, I'm thinking, let's be nice to Logan right now. You're a chad hundred millionaire well he's good regardless no if you're a chad hundred millionaire your bitch is supposed to be 18 not 38 but like okay let's talk about that because listen she don't get to play her whole life and logan is crying traumatized from japan and rebuilds with prime and let's just talk business logan paul business wise he's got vigor he's got vision i love him business wise he don't give up bro he was at fucking eighty thousand views pathetic when he got canceled and he built it from the ground up now prime have you seen what prime i saw the prime numbers it's massive i know logan and no investors do you hear that on shows not no investors they're owned well, by congo brands well no they have partners they have a massive fucking massive massive company that is the oh, i'm saying there's no oilers from saudi there's well no- they don't need that because the company already has hundreds of millions of dollars and what's crazy is there's something about logan that when when he says hey you know a- what i'm saying though right congo brands owns prime they don't own a majority stake of it it's not ksi and logan it's congo brands Congo Brands owns Alani. I was trying Prime. to be nice to him, bro. What are you doing right now? Well, I'm just telling the truth. Okay, all right. So you could Google this shit. The the thing I like about mm. Logan, there's something about him that I nitpick and hate everything about him. But when he goes, "Yo, Zerka, you want this Prime?" or "Hey, people, you want this Prime?" I actually one of the stores just bought it. He's that good. Like just because he said buy it, no one's ever convinced me to buy something, except Lo- the guy I hate the most, Logan. And I gotta say, it's. It's good. It's a good you, drink. You, I mean, it tastes... It's, it's great. It's a little too sweet for me. Here's how you can do it, okay? If, you're, if you want a lot of fluids, what I do is when I'm drinking Gatorade, I don't want the same gulp, gulp, so I switch. Prime, Gatorade, and you know, it's fun. It's like a different... 
It definitely is sweet. It's sweet. There is there is one flavor I do like. I don't, I'm not lemon a fan of lime. That. No, that one's too sweet to me. Anyways, Logan. Yeah. I know what I know what the secret ingredient of Prime is. It's Jake Paul's tears from finding out Alyssa got piped. Alyssa got piped by his older brother. And you know what's funny? Look in Jake's eyes. He forgave Logan of all his wrongdoing, not because he grew up, because fighting saved him. When Jake said, look at this, I saved myself, he looked up at his brother. You saw the clip where he said where they were talking about who's a better boxer on Shoals? That was scary how how confident Logan is. Who do you think is a better boxer? Jake. Yeah. And I think it's so disrespectful for Logan to talk like that because Jake's been put in work for years. But there, but there was a clip, I think, where he did at the end say he's better boxer. No, I think there was a clip where he did say he's better. If, if it's like pulling teeth, it's not genuine. We, yeah. we have to fucking wrestle Logan for the answer. And here's the thing is like what Logan's really. Is- also, hold on. Before, I want to interrupt you because I, I want to talk no, about this going, part man. too. In that same interview, because we're talking about the Shoals thing. He, they asked him about steroids and he denied it. What do you think about that? Uh, to be fully objective, I never just hate on someone. I'm I'm so intuitive. I, I have all my viral clips are from reading people like Adam 22 when he's like, this girl said you're kind of creepy. I sniped the bitch out. Did you see the clip on Adam 22? No. He I said, I I read his thoughts and I said, it's that girl. And I looked at his eye. It shifted. I'm like, oh, it is. And then he froze. He's like, yeah, it's her. And I totally leaked it. And I totally, totally just, re- I read his mind. I'm so good at that. That's how I manipulate women too, right? Jeez. And you can find that at official.com how to manipulate wow, women. Geez. But look at this. Female nature is like Logan Paul, right? Snakes Stop. you. But look at this. When Jake dedicated his life to boxing, and he did. Actually, I think a lot of professional fighters did not put in as much work as Jake. Dude, to go from Disney to fighting versus sports and fighting to professional fighting, there's two different leaps. Jake had to make like this weird jump. Jake put so much sweat equity in that craft just for Logan to say, not enough. I beat you. I'm better than you. Isn't that the most disrespectful? Like imagine Jake thinking like. You didn't answer my question. It was about the steroids. Right. In his eyes, he looked like he was telling the truth. It was genuine. Not like Jake. When Jake's asked about roids, (laughs) Woodley, I don't know. Have you seen it? And plus Jake's head grew as much as mine did after roids. The no. pimples and shit, like you fucking Jake. Jake. I don't care, regardless. I'm just and I'm Jake curious. Jake aged like ten years in a year. I'm just but curious. get off the Anadrol, bro. Anadrol is destroying. So you think Logan didn't take gear? I. But here's the thing. I think he did. I think he did because I saw Derek more plates. I yes. think he did 100. percent Just I mean, bro, I've been around this shit for. Well, if one brother's doing get the other. Like Jake is so the aggression came out of nowhere. The head size, the beard. He got older than his dad. He looks good though. He's a good looking guy now, but. And when, when Jake is asked and pressed by Woodley, go look at his reaction, fear and terror. Every time Jake has to talk about PEDs, fear and terror, Logan, almost like no fear. Maybe because he's a dumb blonde, like, oh, what are you asking? But Logan, no fear. But I'm not going to go off intuitive. Derek Moore Plates and everyone who's like done their analysis on Logan, they all said he's on gear, right? I mean, the thickness of the veins. The thick, thick. <laughs> Your veins don't get that thick in diameter like this quick. They get to go from this year to this year, and your thickness just goes like that because you trained a little more. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, he's a little dry, too. I don't even know. It's not about the dryness. He was always pretty dry. Like, his vascularity changed drastically. Is he small in person? Like, is his arm like this? He's not. It's not like that. No, it's not like that. He's, he's like tall. lean like a runner. Yeah, he's lean. But, but I'm saying, like, the thickness of your veins, your veins, like, testosterone, the increase is, like, going to mm. like make your veins Is it 10% thicker. more blood plasma, too, right? I don't know the exact details of it, but I'm telling you, like, literally the diameter of your vein, the thickness of it, increases through androgen usage. Yeah, and, and, they're, it, and his are all connected, too, right? All connected. Yeah, what like, you you, connected? even CrossFitters who are super lean and stuff, their veins can kind of, It's not like a spider web like Logan. His look like, well, kind of looks synthetic. Well, it's just, it's just, I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. But, but I have seen natural bodies that look like Logan's. So I could give him the benefit of the doubt. I think but like that minus with the, the most competitive dude on earth, Logan, the guy who said, after filming a dead body, I'm so competitive, I'm coming back. And he did it. He made $100 million. God bless him. But look at this. The most competitive dude on earth 
is not going to be competitive. I get it, yeah. With because when I here's how you can find out everyone's on roids. When you find out amateur fighters who cannot pay rent are on roids. Imagine million dollar contracts. Honey, I'm signing a million dollar boxing contract. I'm fighting that dude who's on steroids and EPO, yeah. but I'm doing this naturally and I'll feed our kids. Nobody would yeah, fucking do yeah. that. And that story I, doesn't make sense. And when people say steroid people are cheaters, I swear most of them get into it just to be equalized. You know, oh, he's on shit, I'll be on shit, right? They don't yeah. get into it to have like an edge. They get into the sport, they go, it's wait, the game. here's the UFC and I'm at the amateur league and amateur league, they're taking more roids than these guys. And we, when it's like the gym, fat dudes in the gym are taking roids, everyone's taking like random people who don't look like they lift to take roids. Yeah. When I found out broke $5 an hour fighters are juiced for like some, you know, how they have a cage match in a fucking Wendy's or whatever the fuck they do in a Wendy's or, you know, these fucking broke Dude, fighters, junior bacon cheeseburgers used to hit, bro. You know what I'm saying? From Wendy's junior Easy. bacon. That's where your mind went. Yeah, I was. I'm hungry. I'm not gonna lie. It they, went there for a second. You never liked those? No, your Baconator was good. I try to throw you off. To be honest. All right, check this out. I love fucking with you. No, if we're going to talk about pork. Let's, I like watching the adults. No, tweet. you didn't throw me off. If, you, if we want to talk about pork. No, no pork. Let's, no let's no talk pork. about Logan's wife. No, right? okay. So That's Gilly swine. Dennis. Let's talk about swine. Okay. You want to throw me off? We're back on track. Okay. Damn You're it, rolling bro. with the fucking dirties. And you know, I, you know what's funny? Go look at my Twitter history. I'm the only influencer who attacks everyone to correct their behavior, right? When Logan had his marriage, go look at my Twitter. I said, everyone who shit talks him, you're all alone. God bless him. Yeah. May they last forever in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Zerka's changing. I said, I don't want to be that guy. Let's leave that. And then I remembered he, had, he hates Christianity. He attacked it. Logan, did you see what he said? He kicked off Janko and all that. I'm like, oh, this guy's a demon, right? Why did he even get married? Then I saw he got on one knee. And when I propose to my wife, I'll be standing. I'll be looking down at her like she's sucking my... Stop, bro. How do you fucking turn this off? Yo, enough. Enough, bro. Enough. Who is that? Enough, bro. I'm on Bradley Martin podcast. I told you 10 times. He's literally fucking hearing it ring. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Girlfriend. Dude. You called her bro? Always. He did. He did. He did the best thing he could have ever done, which is he doubled down and was like, fuck it. That's my girl. I love her. He had, what he the had fuck to. are we doing? He that's had the to. best thing? He had to. No, he didn't. He ha of course. I gave him a way out. Logan. No, there's no way out, dude. No, he Logan's been training on. more than Dylan. But, he actually, but look, here's the fucked up thing, right? I know maybe you don't have any love. You've never really loved a woman, have you? I have, yeah. How, you have? Yeah. I know. Truly. You want me to go there in my mind? As soon as I go in there in my mind, I go, Logan, go. Stay with her. I'm not going to go in my mind. And you have to, the devil. You have to be honest, though. That's like saying Kanye should have stayed with Kim. And okay, I'm not saying that. I don't know shit about that. But I'm saying like... Kim, like Kim's had less bodies than Logan's. She had less bodies than Logan's. Than Logan's girl. Do you really think she slept with that many people though, or is she? Dude, just a lot posting, of those guys are good looking. But she's just posting. He's just posting shit. Like she was a. You like? Do you think she just she, slept with all? Her of them? past shouldn't destroy Logan's future. After Logan had fucking four years of therapy for Japan for this, for this. She. Hey, I've been playing my whole life. And imagine what she, when she saw the ring, the first thing she thought was a bit of guilt. Because she goes, men, you know, they want something to protect. They're like golden retrievers. He's in that state, infatuation. She knew that the girl who deserves that ring got robbed. She knows it in her soul. Do you know why? When I have my girlfriend, she's so sweet, ballerina, perfect, never, like just in a library, just quite quiet and stuff. When I'm with her, uh, before I fuck her, the first thing I literally look and I tear up a bit, not on my face, right? In, in my soul, I think to myself, there's a good dude out there that's not cheating on her. And here's Zerka. And, and I just went famous. So like, let Listen. me cheat a bit. And yo, check this out. I, I've never cheated in my life. And two long terms, never. And even the Twitch one, which is like, amazing the easiest thing on earth for me is uh loyalty because i hate everyone so i'll only have one best not best friend but one human would be my girlfriend and we just stay home and shit but logan went through all that trauma she knows his trauma 
And she said, I don't care that I'm bringing you an 89% divorce rate. Because if a woman had many partners, you statistically, you can even measure the percentage of how likely you are to stay with her. And then you look at Hollywood marriages that always fail for small things. This is big thing. Like all the photos is going to fuck with Logan because he has a big ego and stuff. Logan has such a big ego that when KSI's fan base attacked him for years, instead of just clicking X, he dropped his knees and said, my brother's enemy, come home. We're going to start Prime together just so your chat gets off my back. He was hated by the UK. The only way he ended that is the reconciliation with a black man, KSI, right? You know that Logan is extremely smart, right? What the? Nobody knows that. You, how the fuck did he get there then? He has a talent in entertainment, right? But let me tell you. Okay, fine. For business, Prime? Yes. He, he blew me out the water with Prime. Okay. He is so smart. you know he's he smart. For that. So you don't Nothing think. Nothing else. So you don't think he is making a conscious, educated decision on this girl that he's saying this is the one? You don't think so? No. You think he really got that played? You know what you're asking? A lawyer who goes eight years in school, doctor, lawyer. Have you met lawyers who are fat? And you look at them like you can't figure out macronutrients, calories in, calories out. They just can't do it. I'm not a Fair. fitness guy. They don't even want to try. I'm like, bro, you did eight years of school. You can't do fucking basic math. I see what the, you're saying. Logan is like that. He's good at the business. He never once looked at the red pill statistics of dating. Dude, if Logan put, if, if Logan went to Myron and said, here's $10,000, crunch the numbers of how likely it is. Not that Logan leaves her. Men do not leave women, right? Men will commit suicide before they leave women. Women leave uh, for the smallest things, right? They're of the devil. Now look at this. If Logan crunched the numbers in a Myron cl calculator, I don't think there's one YouTuber who has a higher, and I, I don't want him to have a divorce. On Jesus' name, I want them to last and me look goofy as a pedophile looking Mario. I want to look stupid, but statistically, all that baggage she has photos and stuff even if it is just photos it's logan the biggest ego on the internet who he doesn't want people like he, he, you know how sad it is to have a marriage and say my babies my i have a community logan has a community my chat i get to introduce you guys to my cope she's my cope until i gr grow old this is the one i want and nobody wants her the only person who was happy in that situation was me like when my chat hated my girlfriend she was a streamer too. I found it hilarious. Like she would be crying all night. She'd be like this. I don't think Joker 148 likes me. I'd be like, he's a moderator. We might have to time him out a bit. And she'd be crying, bro. It was so weird. Yeah, yeah cause she knows how much oh my they saved my life, that chat. So, so she knew how much they meant to me. And she used to cry. They don't actually love you. They don't love you. They're just chatting. I'm like, they give me money. You take my money, you fucking dumb bitch. Look at this. Logan's ego is so fragile. He he betrayed his brother for KSI just so UK gets off his back. So they stop throwing cans at him when he's in the UK and shit. He submit to KSI and his excuse was, it's business, come on. Who the fuck? Jake is looking him in the eye and saying, I, I don't that. want you to do this. It's a burden. A burden means like before bed, Jake is thinks of it. In the morning, every comment and those comments that tell Jake to jump off a bridge are from KSI's people. Not that he's guilty that's how the nature of the business war another thing jake asked many times not just behind the scenes to get on impulsive as a co-host yeah yeah and you know what he was asking he was nowhere in life losing fame didn't know what to do with vlogging and the the team 10 exploded or whatever the fuck those some fools got to go see those kids the team 10 see, go smack them, them around yeah, i, I want to see that that's a cameo but check it out and they grew up now, so they could take more from Fuzzy. But now, when Jake was at, at his lowest, he said, he didn't say, I want a job. I don't want money. He said, I want comfort. I want to be around my brother because my mother's not here. They're divorced. I'm in LA alone, and I'm with, ho like, Jake was just around some hoes and cloud chasers. He had no one, and he'd have, like, one big black guy as his fucking security guard. And then Jake would put a chain on and pretend to be black. You remember those days? Nothing's changed for Jake. What year was that? It doesn't matter. He's still doing it. <laughs> He's still <laughs> pretending to be black. But Jake, when he went, I don't know what to do with my life. I want to be on Paulson. He just, he along. wants this. This brotherhood we have, he wanted that from Logan. And Logan's like this. B 
because of my Japan thing. I don't trust you. I'm, I'm on my last thread, Jake. He's on his last thread, as in he's going to be canceled. He's like, this is my last chance. He didn't trust his brother. And everyone says, yeah, because he was chaotic. Would you trust Jake? I don't give a fuck. It's not about trust at that point. We're going, we're going rock bottom together. The fuck? Family. Yeah. The, my brother's been put in situations where they could lose their master's degree. They've been jobs, uh, w wives, um, everything. They could go to jail for me. They've been, I put them in weird situations, right? And just, it was like accidents and stuff when I was an idiot. They've never once hesitated. To, they've never, both of them have never once hesitated to throw away their career and wife. No kids. They literally discard everything in their life. They don't, and you know how we're angry, we yell at each other? They zip up and tell I'm rescued. Logan never rescued Jake, so Jake's like, fuck it, I'm gonna start being the shit out of everyone. And you're saying this based off of this, all the content you've watched over the years? Like I, how psychoanalyze, I psychoanalyze them for like $100 donations every time I would predict. I'd say, Logan is going to get sweaty and nervous in two minutes. And my child would be like, what, you're like an idiot. I'd be like, I'm not pressing play until you put up the money and we do hundred dollar bets and I get rich like this. And then you start fidgeting and stuff. It's so easy to read because when you do five years of bouncing, you, I'm reading people who have like poker faces, murderers. Logan's very easy to read, but nothing is more easy to read than when he talks to Jake on a podcast. And that's why they don't like to do it. They leak so much because they don't talk behind the scenes. If I was with my twin brother, he could just do this and I stop talking. If he looks at me a certain way and he doesn't have to... Sh they have zero bond. They leak on a podcast and they look at Mike. Are we leaking too much? Dude, when Jake said on the last podcast, and by the way, their podcast is great. Because I, if you're wondering, Zerka, you kind of sound like a fan. I love Logan and Jake. They're so entertaining. Yeah. Their podcast is great. Yeah. And what I hate is the bitterness of Jake becoming that boxer. He didn't become a boxer. He became the older brother. That's why he sat down and said, you have to unpack trauma. Do you know what he was talking about? You're jealous of my fighting skills because I put in work and you fucked whores. Now you're playing catch up and you're in the WWE. You have a career path. Uh, and Logan's not really a fighter. He's like a compromiser. Hey, I'm a $100 million prime guy. Me, when it's time for my $100 million contract, I know I'm going to be like Jake and just so, slap a child and say, fuck this. Logan, so, comp people who compromise go to the top. Logan will have so much money because, hey, KSI, I know you're my family's enemy. Fuck it. Let's make 100 million. I know it's breaking Jakey's soul. It's back in his subconscious. And what's crazy is it built Jake, if you think about it. If Logan didn't snake Jake, he wouldn't have fought like this. It's such a beautiful thing. If you've, have you watched their stuff? Have you seen yeah. all their content? So, because when I got on the internet four years ago, everyone was telling me a Logan Paul and they were all laughing at me that I don't know. I didn't know what a PewDiePie was, nothing. But when I realized I could get rich reacting to them and just fucking predicting them, dude, I feel like I they're like hamsters in a wheel for me. Now, <laughs> so, so, you, so, so yeah, let's 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 we gotta move on a little bit. Who do you think is winning that fight? Nope. Dylan. I was gonna say he said unpack trauma. What did you think that <clears throat> unpack trauma was? This in, is huge views for you in that in that podcast. Yeah, where it got tense. You talking about what they were like talking about the whole business problem and he not said, being able to be here Jake at the said, fight. I think you have some trauma to unpack, Logan. And they said, should we say it live? And they said, no, let's keep it. That was for fighting. Because they, they're arguing about who's better. I mean... Logan is clearly jealous of his brother. In the, in the fighting aspect. Yeah. But he also succeeded much, much further. It doesn't that. matter. No, if, yeah, yeah, I know. If, if Logan made $500 million, $1 billion, it's a male ego meaning logan can make one billion dollars if he's not the fighter in the family he'll always feel under that's how boys are like would you rather have 10 million being a fighter or 20 million being a computer dork everyone you know what i yeah. mean there's yeah, yeah. the status of it right right the, and the confidence and you can have 100 million dollars like bill gates you're not walking like jake jake is confident shit and logan wants that archetype that i want to be the fighter you think that's what that trauma is brothers are brothers are so competitive like that oh, i know they're competitive for sure yeah so who do you think wins that fight jake no 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 oh you're talking about between logan and jake? yeah i think jake would win. okay so that fight logan and jake you think jake wins yeah what about logan and dennis oh definitely logan 
yeah. I'm rooting for Dennis, but man, I'm really doing a hit piece on Logan. Dude, he's picking, he's like doing two years of professional training before he picks out an opponent who's eating like hot dogs, not training. Like it's so, don't you think Logan needs a real challenge? Like, cause Dennis is like, oh fuck, I'm fighting. Okay. Like he's a cool guy. He's hilarious and stuff. But Logan's been training with professionals for two years. So don't you feel like it's a little snaky? And how come no one comments that? When Jake took on Fury, that's a man. That was it. Yeah, that was. Yeah. The one thing that scared me is when Woodley stopped. Remember he rocked Jake and then he stopped. People said it's a fixed fight. Did you ever think Jake's fights yeah, were? Yeah, yeah. I used to talk about that. Yeah. But I, when I interviewed Nate, that made me think they weren't because he said that they weren't. Yeah. But yeah. Logan wanted to take his brothers who, who did he, fury too he wanted to take yeah fury. they were arguing about, no and nate too they were arguing about the and fights logan said i've given you your fighters yeah logan you didn't do jake's push-ups you didn't do big bear you didn't you're two years late to this i've i was watching jake at the gib that's when i started watching him i saw him training a big bear and all the comment section was making fun of jake paul and i was like that's a real well that's logan, a real, logan yeah. didn't logan do it first with ksi logan did the first fight but it, the, that wasn't boxing that was like dudes with gloves on jake was the first when i watched him in big bear everyone was making took fun. it serious i saw jake's jab and i said he shouldn't fight gib he's gonna kill him jake is actually entering sport mode right he jake paul is the flagship of this fighting whatever influence boxing is and what's funny is the flagship's too far jake doesn't even fit in with these fucking clowns boxing Jake's his own thing, right? He's like his own brand. Right. And there's so much, like Logan gets the money, but every man wants to be paid who do you think wins? Who do you think wins then, KSI or Jake Paul? Are you kidding? I'm asking you the question so you can answer it, motherfucker. Jake I, would rinse ask, him. I can say my answer too. Do you agree Jake would rinse yes. him? Yeah, yeah. And I don't have one reason to hate KSI. I don't know anything about him. I like him. He was nice as fuck to me when I met him. When he keeps doing that thing, I'll fight Jake, I'll fight... It's so obvious he's never going to fight him. He's ducking and running. and He knows that's his money fight. That's Jake, the biggest money fight. Imagine running from the money fight. And what's, well, what's the worst thing that can happen? Getting pieced up by Jake Paul? The dude who fights fucking professional spars 10 rounds with them a day? The dude who like fucking throws his fucking gum shield and keeps fighting, breaks shit and doesn't give a fuck. He's like, he's got that thing in him. He's got the, he's like Chinese. He's got well, that it's dog all, in it's him. Well, it's all ego. It's all ego. Like no one wants, no, none of them want to lose, obviously. No, no, no. Every, what other boxer in the game is like Jake? Like that goes it, through. As far as YouTubers? None of like, them. Like mentally, J if, if you could see boxing as a marriage of the heart and the fighting, Jake Paul married boxing. So the why everyone Jake else just fucked it, and then they fuck it and they leave. I'll do boxing and then I'll leave. Jake's like, I'm marrying you. We're ten years in this business, twenty years. He put, he went all in, and everyone, you're not actually good. You're not a. He's great. Then your brother turns to you and says, I can beat you. He put like all that sweat equity. He did everything he's supposed to do. You're the older brother has to say like, congrats. Do you think they're ever gonna fight? I think they are. What? Logan and Jake. I w I'm willing to bet that that happens eventually. I feel like it's the last fight. I mean, if you're going to bang his ex, they'll fight. Yeah. Like they, they're, they're already broken. I feel like they're, they've been, I don't know, part of it has been kind of leading towards it. Like the, even the confrontation on the podcast, that whole like, I feel like the stuff that they're doing is even leading towards it. What do you mean leading? What do you mean? I don't see the that The content that they're creating, even, you know. Oh, you think it's like a they script, that argument? I'm not I, saying it's a real. script. I'm just saying like, I'm not saying it's a script. Or over -sens sensationalized. I'm right? just saying the fact that they sat down, had that conversation, filmed the podcast, wasn't live, said, fuck it, post it. Yeah, but how many times have I done that? Everyone, when they're tired, posts. Oh, I look cool here. And then you go, ooh, chat doesn't like me here. Mm. Like, have you you posted many videos where you're like, eh, I don't want, never? No, I just fucking post it. Really? I'm like, dude, I said every slur under the sun. Why did I post that? And then the next day is the exact same way. Dude, if they fight in a boxing ring, they'll, that'll crack the internet. Because then Logan can say, I banged Alyssa. Or whatever that dumb bitch name is. She fell off the face of the earth. Oh, she's, <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. she's in that Amanda Cerny hole. Oh my God, you're <laughs> such you, a. Fun, when I rewatched it, you didn't defend Stop your friend. It, Isn't she your friend? Amanda? You met her? Yeah. I mean, I don't know her super well. She's, she's when I rewatched the podcast. Yeah. I was like, I know this guy meets everyone. He's met her and stuff. 
And then I'm watching, I'm like, Brad is so based. You didn't defend her at all. I'm like, I look at the camera. I'm like, you're a sweetheart, but sweetheart, you're a loser, loser. I kept calling her a loser. And this is Brad. Next question. It was like the funniest shit I've ever seen. Because <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, this guy networks with everyone. And I'm like, this is the best way to do an interview. Where it's like, if I kill your friends, I attack them. You go, okay, treat everyone fair. You know what I mean? Why not? Well, you got, you're entitled to an opinion. It doesn't mean I agree with you. You know? Okay, how hard can I go on Mike Malik right now? Are you going to That's me? my guy, bro. How, you guys are close? I like Mike. Really? Go hard. Just try it. Try it. I'll defend him. He's kind of like He's kind of likable. No, say what you're going to say. Don't be a pussy all of a sudden. I'm not a pussy. I just I just blanked when I thought of him. Yeah, yeah that's uh, right. Well, he couldn't even Go get ahead. a porn star pregnant. <laughs> he was fucking that bitch all year and then the baby came out black? Bro, I don't think he was trying to get her pregnant. No, that guy's a raw dogger. He raw dogs. Do you definitely. think he was trying to get her pregnant? Because oh, you can raw oh, dog, take it out. You know what I'm saying? Psh, no, he definitely busted. Shoot himself. it out. He, ask other guys how far they can shoot it. He looks like right? he doesn't have self-control. Like, Ugh. You think he just... Is he just not? With Lana Rhodes, he's never busted like multiple times a week. I have no idea. I'm not asking about that shit. He busted loads, but the black sperm pushed it out. Stop it, dude. You think she was fucking both of them at the same time, I think. I have no idea. I wasn't, I'm not that involved in their relationship. But go ahead. What were you going to say about him? You, when the baby comes out, you have to just, the doctor goes, mm, the fifth vital. It's yours. It's your black baby. And Mike is like, oh, he's a book. He has this gay book. Yeah, he has a book. That's what you got to say about Mike? He was nice I actually like the guy. Yeah, he was nice yeah. to you. No, I'm trying to be a villain, bro. Why? Why don't you try to be a good Here's guy? why. Here's why. Here's why. Anytime I'm charitable with people, I was going to say this earlier too. Now I remember. Every collaboration I've ever had with large people up until recently has always been no one's ever given me a handout. So I attack them until they platform me. The whole internet, to even guys who hate me, type, you afraid to have Zerka on? You afraid, you little pussy? And the ego of the YouTuber goes, I'll have my security. Z yeah, I'm not afraid of Zerka. Come talk to me. Every collaboration I've had was forcing my way into them. No consent. Like, you, you fucking pussy and shit like that. You have no idea. When I think of Mike Malek, I will never be able to have one YouTube vlog with him. You know that. You know, even if we were friends, he'd say, after what you did to me, John, no. I have to talk like a New Jersey Jewish yeah, woman. I don't think he would. I don't think he would. He I would never think, do a vlog with no, me. No, no. I, I think he might. No, no, no. He's a business guy. You think because of his relationship to Logan? The only way I can ever have that vlog collaboration that I'm trying to get right now. Mike, help me. Now, look at this. No, not even Logan. He just doesn't like uh, ob obnoxious people, right? I'll make you viral. Look at this, right? And I won't take 20%. That's so evil. But look, every collaboration has been these liberal types, you know, that are like, I don't know what a whore is. Like, Mike, they've all left me poor in every workplace environment. But on streaming, dude, I either attack you until your audience says you're a pussy, get on a call with Zerka, or I take your woman. I've taken so many YouTubers' women, and I never fucked them. I would go live, they're whispering in my ear, and I go, no way, I love that YouTuber, he's huge, he has like 10 million, and they would watch, because they're like, you know how everyone shares their women out here? I would know all of his dirty secrets in the bedroom with that girl. Not just humiliation, like when he's drunk and did something inappropriate, and then I would look at the camera with that girl that they're texting, and I would show that I'm scrolling through her Twitter DMs as in I know exactly what you guys did and what you fucked her when she was drunk, but you were drunk and blah. I know all your mess. And I'm just like this. And then I look at the camera and I go, I like that guy. I think he's going to platform me because I'd be so mad if he didn't. Every collaboration I ever got was like literally forcing people's hands behind the scenes because they're all liberal he's, types. You didn't force me. Mike Malek, if I attack him for two years straight, you know how much I'm going to grow? He's going to submit. He's going to go, all right, let's get the vlog done. And once you do one vlog with me, I'm a puppy. I leave you alone forever. You, it's kind of like a bitch-ass thing to do. What's my other option? How do I cross-pollinate viewership? Yeah, but it's like, but just be better. Don't be a pussy. I'm going to be honest. Keep it a thousand with you right now. Mm -mm. That's some lame shit because, Is listen, it? hold on. Let me finish. I'll tell you why. That's like I was playing Overwatch, and I want to create Overwatch awareness because I think more people should play Overwatch. Shout out, Steve. We'll do it. The problem is this. No, because I've been playing Overwatch lately on Twitch. So anyways, listen. And I have it. Yeah. You were top 500? 
God damn, yo, I'll get your thing if you still play. Yeah, but anyway, XQC's game. What's that? XQC's Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, he played that. Yeah, Tim Tatman played it. Anyways, so I've been playing Overwatch, and there's this dude who's like a, who was a fan who jumped in uh, my my Discord and then tried to get in the games. He got in a game and he was just super loud talking all the shit, right? And I was like, all right, fuck this guy. Not gonna invite him next time. I'm on stream and he's like sending me whispers because he was added as a friend and he's like, invite me, invite me. And it's like a bitch ass move. Well, I've, to never, like, I've never whispered. No, no, no. I'm not saying whispering. I'm just talking, I'm just giving you an example. The way he was moving to try to gather attention no, this while I was the, on stream. This is not the scenario. But at all. that's what you're saying. No, no, zero percent. You're saying you're going to pressure someone into work. No, no, you. look, look. This is the scenario. I joined Twitch. They said, Zirka's getting us a lot of views. Put him on the podcast with these five people. Okay. These five people. Even when I was kind and they had a blast with me, because I'm red pill, the only red pill guy back then, way before Andrew Tate, right? The first guy to say, woman, shut the fuck up. I wouldn't say it to my fucking hosts and coworkers. I'd say it to randoms and shit. These four, even if I wasn't a risk to a brand deal, I was doing everything correct, they would all leave the lunch table. And I love being alone, so that's good. But what does I really do? Twitch admins target me for bans because I don't have connections to keep me in the industry. That's why Trainwreck saved my life. When I can't pay rent and I keep getting six month bans because of they're doing that blue pill thing every time and I'm playing fair. I'm, I would call the host. I'd be like, uh, do you want me to be softer? Right? When you get abandoned from I, every single job I've ever had, I lost for one kind of sexist little joke. And then, what was it? Uh, One kind of sex is probably like a. I'm getting banned for jokes that everyone's laughing except one bitter bitch. Could be Mike Malek, could be like a liberal woman and stuff. Bro, when you see that you keep, how you get evicted, so you lose your girlfriend because you keep arguing with her, and it's all because of one Mike Malek at work. Like, Zirka, I don't know. Zirka's jokes are a little too edgy, and he said whore, and we can't define whore. Those guys destroyed my life. Now I'm reeling them in and they're taking all the bait. He's responding to me. He's, it's perfect right now. Did you see what he responded? What did he respond? He said, um, Zerk, this is the craziest thing. Was this the one on my pod? No. He messaged me on Twitter, unblocked me with Logan at the same time. They had me blocked and he messages me on Twitter. He saw in that stream where I said, they're tra challenging me to boxing matches in that stream. And I said, I'm making money. I'm building my documentary with Data IQ, my website for the Zerka official.com. And so I'm doing all these things and I'm in New York and all that. And then Boston, all these places. And it's like, I would lose like four, five thousand dollars a day just to like kill these plans. He sniped me out in that moment and sent me Logan Paul will fight you for fifty thousand dollars if you win if you can no, if you last one round with him because he knew i'm not going to take it to go to puerto rico because i'm doing all these things right it would be like the worst i would lose so much money and the crypto kind of guy i'd have to trust that he pays me and stuff under no one's allowed to know about it nobody not 13 not the world it's just a fight between us because he was mad i was like i was saying jake paul's the best logan is a bitch on twitter and so he got angry and he's, he's like i could take him one round or whatever wait so they but they weren't gonna film anything no we should go do it dude i d d here's the, here's the story they thought i would never take that because he's training with professionals for two years and you know he, they think i'm like some nfl player like i'll throw a ball and shit like those retards who like can't they're not durable as soon as he said that my team hated this because they know how much the they're losing. Everyone's losing if I go to Puerto Rico. All right, guys. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Check this out. If you guys have had troubles or something in your life right now that you're like, okay, I need some outside unbiased perspective on or you want someone who's going to help you kind of work through those things. And listen, don't be ashamed of like ever needing that sort of help. It's much, much, much worse off of a situation if you just like let things just push push it away and then fester and fester and fester. I've gone to tons of therapy. I go to therapy actively, like literally once a week. Therapy is one of the best things for you. Talk therapy, obviously like there's other forms of therapy, but in this sense, talk therapy can really benefit you, especially if you just have those kind of like thoughts that just maybe feels like you just can't organize them or you feel like you, you keep going over the same sort of 
which I do a lot of the times. BetterHelp has got your back. It's really simple. You guys don't need to show up somewhere for like whatever, an hour, two hours. You don't have to drive anywhere. You can do it all from the comfort of your home. So you can be consistent with it, which is probably one of the more important things that most people don't actually understand as far as therapy. Like you're not just going to go once and be like, oh, I'm solved. Everything's fixed, right? Because you go through that process and you learn more, you learn more, you learn more. So it's important to continue on. But if you guys are interested in trying it out, again, do not be ashamed. Go to betterhelp.com slash raw talk at first month, 10% off. Again, that's better. H-E-L-P.com slash raw talk to get 10% off your first month. Let's get back into this podcast. I said, send contract. Bloop. And he snaked me so bad because he knew all that filming I was doing that I leaked on the Island Boys thing or the Aiden Ross. Wait, is it DM? Show yeah, me, yeah. I'll show, show you the whole thing after. If okay. I, as soon as I send, this is like a fucking four page contract. This is so quick to write, right? Send contract. That's all I said. One week, no answer. So I lost so much money because I'm like half foot out the door. And then my team said, you shouldn't trust these crypto type people because they won't pay you. They have so much power to just, you know, if you, they go in with lawyers. But in my head, I'm thinking like, oh, it's a money fight. Nobody got to know. I'm just going to fucking, you know. In my head, I'm thinking like, I told four of my team members, I'm like, Mike Malek, he unblocked me. He's cool. He's not going to take a week. It'll be tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow. We're waiting on it, right? Then he sends the contract, and I'll show you after. It's the funniest, the worst contract you'll ever read, right? This is real. It's all on Twitter. It's all leaked. It was on his last YouTube vlog, oh, Mike Malex. Okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't see any of this shit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, by the way, 50,000 is chump change, right? But I hated the fact that it was like, you know a dude smoking cigarettes, not fighting, not doing anything, fighting a dude who's training two years with professionals or three years, whatever it is, when I instinctively said, let's go, respect that dude. Like, don't fucking seven days and then to write a fucking bogus contract. In my head, I'm thinking, and my team is like, dude, you're not in sports. You're not, you're like a fucking street guy and stuff. And this is a sport. I know, I know, I know boxing, but man, that was the first time that I'm like, I think he unblocked me. He's going to be genuine. He's going to do it right away. I missed uh -huh. six or seven days of um, three supercars I rented waiting to fucking think I'm going to Puerto Rico and shit. Why not just do it consecutively? What do you mean? While you're waiting. Because I immediately flew out of New York. I left New York, right? Because I was thinking this is real. I'm going to go fucking LA. And you know what's funny? As soon as I got the contract, my whole team laughed at me. So they're like, dude, like they're taking you for a ride and shit. And then I thought to myself, I'm like, wait a minute. If Logan wants me, because he knows like I'm not doing any any sports right now, who is he fighting right now? And then I like, looked, it was you know, Dylan. Oh, that's what that's who Logan is. He'll do three years of training with professionals. Hey, get off the couch and fight me. And it's like, bro, what the fuck? I'm, cigarette, cigarette, cigarette. That's what he did to Dylan Dennis. Jake Fury. Fury's a real fucking boxer. Fought Fury. Like, yeah. this is fucking ridiculous. K who the KSI fought the, a dude dying of cancer, the Mexican kid. Like, what are you promoting? You agree there? to it? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just want to see. Well, honestly. I don't even get it. So KSI is doing all that training in the gym to. It's like he's fighting a, a moving bag. It's like he doesn't want to. I just want him to fight Jake. No, they, they should be they should actually be challenging people when influencer boxing it's so obvious how stacked it is on one side like dylan dennis is like a, first of all he's not even known for striking right not at all jiu-jitsu is great, great yeah guy. which you know how that is usually you're fast twitch or you're a wrestler usually if you're a wrestler or jiu-jitsu or grappler if you're that usually you're not that kinetic with the striking so i think logan's gonna win this and i think the whole world doesn't realize it's a, an, it's so unfair that fight. That is, that is just so unfair. Yeah. It's so and people are thinking he's MMA, so that's boxing. That's a little boxing. No, it's not MMA. The the stance is squared up like this, and you're you're waiting for a takedown. And every you, MMA striking is so fucking different. People yeah. are, people think it's slightly different. Who wins an MMA fight, Dennis or Logan Paul? Logan can wrestle. He's strong, grip strength. But Dennis Black Belt, he's going to submit gonna his ass. Yeah. Right? And, and Logan would never like be in a room with him like that. He wouldn't 
risk that in front of cameras. You know, you know what I mean? With a black belt. Yeah. No, he yeah, I think D Daniels would kill him. But yeah, I, I think this is fight is like it's so obvious Logan's gonna win. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna bet on it. For sure I'm gonna bet on it. Yeah. So so the the mic thing, I actually really want to see this shit. You have to show me. Right now? I guess yeah, yeah, I wanna Just see. Don't it. leak anything. I don't wanna I be in trouble with my team. I won't. Because I have no idea how this shit works. But I do want to see this shit because I want a reaction. We'll see. Look at this. And look at dates. Okay. And don't go too high up because that's me yelling at him for the demonic Jake Paul. Okay. I forgave Jake. Uh, what right. is this? Yo, which, okay, what's, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. It's on the 9th. Logan seems prepared to make the following offer to John Zerka. One you night. didn't see this on his vlog? He no. posted it. No. I, I was so it. happy. 50,000. He said send contract. Okay. And the last thing I said. Read the last thing. Which I one? I said on site. When I see Malek or Logan, I'm going viral. Send contract. Okay, let me see what I get rid of. I'm going to go full G7 on something them. For, you're going to slap them like Shaq Doherty? Would you slap one of them? What if the security just fucks you Wait, up? Wait, if I slap them, don't I like just benefit from that? Like, what? I mean, the security might fuck you up before you get close. I've been fucked up before. I'm just saying. I've been fucked up for They're free. For sure I've been fucked up for free. They're gonna, But it's going to be like this. He's over there, and they're just going to keep walking this way, and they're going to just fuck you up. I want to hear something there. crazy. You, you agree that a boxing match, he's, is this what Sneeko does? I'm like, sorry. I'm listening, to, bro. No, no. I'm listening. I, but I'm, I'm invested in this, too. I'm yeah, listening. but they're laughing at me. They're like, oh, sorry, Brad is I'm egoing sorry. him. All right? I'm sorry. Oh, when I'm, you do that, I think you're going to my gallery. At least no. show me. Can I just? I want to read the rest of this. Because if you go to my gallery, it's not like I can beat you up, bro. I had I'm 48 not, cigarettes and a bunch I'm of coke gonna, yesterday. I know. I'm not going to. I'm tired. I'm not John Jones, bro. Which is the greatest of all time. John Thank Jones you, is the greatest of all time. But what what I was gonna say is, you agree? Should I just talk to you guys? <laughs> this is fucking brutal. You, do you guys agree? MMA striking and boxing completely different, right? It's like night and day. Man, I'm talking to the camera guy. What the fuck am I doing? Dude, you're a streamer. Aren't you good at this shit? Why are you sweating, bitch? Keep going. Come and on. now I'm his bitch. I gotta keep. No, going. not my bitch. But yeah, like, let me bend over, bro. You're a fucking streamer. You got this shit. Come I on. I want to do I'm, it. I'm. I have to read. I gotta talk research. to the bots. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta talk to the viewers, dude. You got this shit. Why am I so cozier that I yell? This is the only place where I'm screaming. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you smiling like that, bro? There's a lot of shit going on there. Like you were trying to sound like you were kind of reasoning with him a little bit. This is when I'm in New York filming. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be the next day. And check this out. Yeah, why would you fly to LA and not fly to Miami? This is because my stuff's in LA in Devonshire. Yeah, but I you had to go to fucking the next day. You got to go to Puerto Miami. Rico. I don't live in Miami. Yeah, but you, that's the next stop to fucking Puerto Rico. I would still go home for my stuff. Fuck your stuff. You're going to go fight him. I'm going to go without. Yeah, you don't need when you fight him. He's been training two years with professionals. Go, I don't, I don't gonna get gonna a bag of. You're going to smack a line and go fight him? I was thinking, bro. Honestly, I wouldn't do that. Here's the scariest thing. Why I feel guilty. 1.4 million people watched our episode. None of them did. They didn't get inspired. They just laughed at my miseries. Except Fousey Tube. Oh, no. Did you see the clip? You, you know what I'm talking about? No. There's a clip of Fousey Tube with Amaranth, and they're driving, and they're ta shit talking me because I'm going so famous. And I said this I said, I said, shut up, bitch, or something like that to Amaranth, right? I, I don't know what I said. And they're shit talking me back. And Fousey was dead. You were on the phone? No, it was just Twitter. Like, you know, I saw her picture on the timeline. I was like, fucking catfish. And something like that. So they're, but what do you mean? They're driving and they're on. You're like so some fan page posted Amaranth's picture. I said catfish and the chat told them while they were live. And Got so it. Responded. Got it. Okay. Yeah. They just hear everything. And Fousey's sober. You can see in the clip. And then in the clip, he goes, they start talking about Zerka and how viral 800 million TikTok searches a couple weeks and shit doesn't have a TikTok, all that. And Wait, did they say that? You just making that shit up? Making that up. Man. Okay. It's real, bro. You can God you damn, can bro. Keep this phone on you. You're making some shit up. No, it's real. I literally did 100 million in a week for fresh Yeah, but shit. were they saying that? Oh, oh no no no! I just add that. Okay, I, that's what they're. Okay. That's what they wanted to say. Jesus, they Christ. were saying Zerka. Was there anything even said about you? This. No, they were talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. They did. They said John Zerka is only popping off because he just shit talks everyone. Everyone wants to see is that. Is that part true? Yeah. That's what was said. Yeah. Okay. And so 
But as Fuzi's saying that, he, Fuzi's like, yeah, and people love it because he's on So no wonder, they're, they're going to watch that. That's interesting. And Fuzi has this very sad look in his face. Like, I used to do drugs, interesting, and now I'm more, like, sober. And I'm, like, seeing it. I'm like, am I seeing, am I looking in too much? And as soon as he said, yeah, but Circa does, that's why everyone, like, whoa, his content's so great. But she interrupts in Amrath, and she goes, yeah, it, everyone just wants to see a Giga Chad calling women bitches. And you can see Fuzi's eyes. They're going to edit this. He said that? No, she said that. She said, Amram. Are you making this up? I swear. Amram said, everyone wants to see a Giga Chad. About me. Make. Because she was trying to make fun of chat. As in, they're all losers. They're ugly. And they can live through this one insult that turned out to look good. Right? Okay. As in, we all hate women. I do hate women. Am I <laughs> Whatever. I don't give a fuck, bro. They demonetize me, bro. But I love women. You do? Love them. What do you love about them? Everything. Do you love that they've never produced one genius, philosopher, engineer, artist? They've stop, lost that. Every, even Gordon Ramsay can cook stop, better than women. Stop, They're not even stop, chefs. Stop, they stop, can't stop, even stop. cook. Right? Yeah, but like without women, though, this should be so boring, bro. No, it wouldn't. It would. You think a bunch of dudes? Take all women out of it, okay? Mr. Women Suck, take all women out of here. Is, is that good? Take all You're women out of here. You're talk about how far you can shoot your nut with everyone? What happens when all women leave my house when I'm alone? I fuck this couch. Men You're literally, fuck a couch. you've never humped this part of the couch no, where you bro, put your dick what the When fuck? you're sleeping, when you're taking a nap. What are you talking about? Every man on earth, when their wife or girlfriend's not home, they do a bit of humping and it's Bro, you fucked a couch? Every, dude, you fuck pillows. People fuck shit. I've not, never fucked a pillow, dude. It's not fucking. Or a it's couch. Humping. It's humping. I've never humped a pillow. Like or with a your couch. pajamas on and shit. No. No, dude. No. That's what I'm saying. Take what care. have you humped? Women. <laughs> Women. When they're not but hold on. their hands. But you're their... talking about humping a fucking couch, bro. I don't do that. I don't think that's normal. It's not a normal If action. you crash on your bed and there's a pillow. Okay. Right here. It's a pillow. And your d hits the pillow and it's soft. You don't kind of just like give the pillow some. No, dude. That's humping a fucking pillow on a You bed. don't have spontaneous erections on testosterone? I mean, I'll like grab and like stretch my shit out because it's like gets kind of clumped up. I'll like. But you're never like, like a stress ball, bro. You're never just like this? No, bro. Like, I'll like right now, like my d to the left. So I'll like push it to the side. I'll like pull it down so there's more space. But I don't grab it and go twist my ball sack and shit. I'm not doing that. Never done that. There's a meme of Homer Simpson men. They always have their hand in their pants. You know mm -hmm. that meme? Yeah. Like I like correct I, my shit. Like I correct it so it's more comfortable in the boxers. I know someone out there knows what I'm talking about. If you out there are not the top comment, there I know. Maybe they're on the South Pole. You know what kills me? The ones that I caught. about it. <laughs> they're probably in the South Pole. Yeah, they're probably southward. But every when I look at the camera, I said, are you squeezing? And then you realize, oh, Zirko's right. They're never going to come clean, okay. even as anonymous accounts. Okay, so but no that, one's hearing what I'm saying. But that's also not f***ing a couch or humping a couch. Or if humping women a left the house, it's not that bad, bro. It doesn't even talk. It doesn't Dude, piss you off. That's what I'm saying. So, okay. As in, you, as in okay. this could be a doll, a sex so doll. So if you really hated women, though, like, okay, they're all gone. Now what? Now we can go back to building architecture. <laughs> what? And what? And what else, though? What else is going to happen? Exactly, fucker. Exactly. Look at you. Peace on earth. <laughs> stop. No, stop. It's not peace on earth. Women are great. Women are awesome. They yeah. are fucking great, man. Come on. Like half the shit people do is like to try to get love from a woman or try to create some shit so they can like impress a woman. I'm not saying that's always the best reason, but that's a reality. Like no, if you if there weren't women, yeah. you wouldn't be doing it. No, why I feel it phony is I'm like the one guy that's like I have multiple scenarios where They'll go to jail for me, locked up for me. Like their lives get destroyed and I come out clean and I've seen those women do that for me. Right. But I had to really put Zerka brain in there. Like for, I had to spend time with them, mold them. But yeah, I've seen good women. Right. They're just annoying. Right. Clingy and shit. I like clingy, but it's like also like, like should, is it the worst thing on earth to slap a woman? Is it the worst thing? Because uh, here, here's my argument. I've never hit a woman, yeah. but I was thinking the other day, don't brothers and sisters slap each other? And they yeah, but they're kids, though. But they love each other. They're kids, they though. Love, no, no. Adults have slapped each other at Thanksgiving. They love each other to death still. Why well, can't that's, I? That's like family. A wife isn't? A wi I mean, a wife is, but like. So why can't I slap my wife? 
Because that's I won. No, no one you, can answer. You this. can't win that. No, I can slap my sister, but not my wife. No, it's, I'm not saying you can slap your sister either. I'm saying that like you. No, if you do, it's not the end of the world. Like, well, no, it could be the end of that same. relationship with your fucking sister. But the reality is like you're you're crossing a line, right? Whether it's man or female, like you're crossing a line. That's like you might just push someone too far. Yeah, you can't win that one. Sorry, I won't let you. Why do you Why do you like enjoy going so hard? I'm a free speech guy, yeah. not an absolutist, but I want it back our way. And I'm a comedian. Yeah. And I don't want to be Dave Chappelle and these guys who play in that. Like, here's the truth. If I was limited like Dave Chappelle and I had that big money and stuff and I had to do a skit like Dave, he's so much funnier than me. Unlimited. Dude, I'm the funniest person on earth right now. I I swear to God, there's this freedom of all my jobs, 30 jobs I got banned for for these kind of jokes, and they were very mild, then banned on Twitch, then lost my apartment, all the world, lost girl, all of my trauma boiled down to that day I went on No Jumper, Adam22, and I sat down and I said, I'm banned off Twitch, I'm... Now, I could wait four months when they decide to bring me back. I said, I'm going to unleash here. I'm already 99%. Go 1,000%. And I got no money, but I know the whole world is going to say John Zirk is the funniest guy on the internet. And that, that's why I beef everyone, by the way, because it's like if you spend 10 minutes watching my clips, I have like 90% conversion rate. Like Andrew made me rich. When they attacked me, a dork, I said, whoa. It's time to get rich. Their fans attacked me for 24 hours. And then I released my dating program. He breaks down everything scientifically, psychologically. He doesn't just say, top G, get pussy and shit. And they go, oh shit, there's more to him. As soon as they dig into that, you have no idea how happy I am to be the one guy who has no network, no friends. Cause you know, every, oh, he says crazy shit. But I can just attack people and steal their fans. Because then, let's say, if I attack KSI on a huge platform, let's say this has got like 500,000 views right now. If I attack KSI, that whole UK audience would have to be forced to find out who I am. And UK are so toxic. Have you seen those kind of gamers? So I can steal a lot of the UK. Australia, same thing. So you're, you're finding pride in being like a fucking piece of shit that tears other people down to build no, no. themselves up when i attack people go watch how i do it they're never torn down unless they shot me first then i unload the dog pile like for malek he shot first he attacked the right wing on pearl and you know that takes away from our money and they went for the blue side so i pulled it back and that's just how politics works when i attack people literally in two days we're like best friends but they never respond with letter. They respond with, let's report him. Let's mass reporting. I'm going to call. I know someone in LA for years in LA. I would, this is, I hate leaking this. I would come here with a bunch of people telling me we're going to work. And I'd walk around town alone for four or five days and fly back home because it's always flakes and stuff like that. I was always black sheep everywhere i go in la right now i swear i'm not joking ask him these guys he he took uh, the teenagers that work at pandas house to some teen party and everyone recognized them from my stream i get stopped 30 40 times a day i went to that fucking hookah lounge that la people go to how much do you get stopped everyone uses youtube in la it's not like new york like you're yeah, my biggest audience out here so you get stopped everywhere you go yeah depending on the demographic yeah the scariest thing because i thought miami was like you know five six people a day if i walk around for a couple hours here everywhere i could be even like in the remote places i could be wearing a hoodie so they here they're social media freaks do they ever mention the podcast always yours everyone i run into <laughs> like that is like my uh what's that the super bowl for me that's sick yeah that was my best performance too because like you know, I was, I really wanted to release the truth, the cycle. I just got it all out and I feel yeah. free when I know I'm not, I feel safe. And number two, if I'm pushing free speech boundaries and I can joke more in that direction, 
now I get even funnier and more powerful. But really, at the end of the day, more free speech means I can bring the Bible back into elementary schools. Because what, what's in that Bible is not very politically correct. To have the Bible in elementary schools and so my kids don't inherit the B system that fucked me up. You know, I don't want them to ever feel what you felt, but what we all felt. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. You know what's really ruined? The, it's just so ironic because we're on this these platforms where they're likely seeing this. The fucking internet has ruined this the world in a sense. It has ruined dating, has ruined relationships, has ruined people's attention spans, in relationships, out of relationships. It, it's the it's this shit that we're actually creating on that has ruined all this shit. Well, it, if it's the internet, what if Zerko's in charge and I force the in, every channel has to be Christian? I would fix every problem. So it's not the internet. It's that ideology is pushed through that beast system of the internet, that Logan Paul system, and Logan Paul's promoting to millions, 50-50 partnership. Did he say on a podcast that he didn't have her sign a prenup? Is that something he said, or is that was something that I'm making up that I thought I heard? I, I thought I heard that he did. He guarded his money. He's not that dumb. Yeah. Going to take 50? 50%? I don't, know. I don't know if I read it somewhere or saw it I think somewhere. KSI takes that. 50%. 50% of what? Jake soul no, check this stop. out god but damn. check this out brad if you've ever wondered why you and i have gone through so many chicks and let's be honest let's be super fair you know you've had like 10 15 sweethearts that would die for you you know you've had that because i have had it and i was way less than you and you have everything and you have that temperament where like you'll hear a bitch out you're even kinder than me <laughs> but now check it out it hurts to admit this, but a lot of chads have to admit this. You, it's not like you abandoned them. You went back to business, right? They interrupt the business. You want to be a big YouTuber and stuff. You've had 10 women. It's not, think of all the women you've had. Did they all fail? No, a lot of them won, but you weren't ready. You're like, oh, I want to do business. I want to do selfish shit, right? Yeah. If you really think about these high value males like us, it's not that those guys watching, they don't have women. But the high value guys, we run through the good ones and then we just, you know, wander off. It's horrible. Why? Because we we grow up thinking like she's got 50%. She could take my kid. It's all in the subconscious. But if you had a system where she's literally under you, like um, close your eyes and imagine your <laughs> wife is an assistant. Imagine your wife is an assistant. Hire a hot assistant, chill with her for a month, and you'll know what it's like to have a real marriage. <laughs> now you're thinking of a hot That's assistant funny. that you fell in love with. No, no. I've no, fallen no. in love I've with. I've never, I've never. I would never. I can't really? do that shit. No. Check this out. But the if, idea, I see what you're saying. If you have money, hire an assistant for one month and uh, make her attractive enough to, when you squint, you want to fuck her. Like, make her attractive enough. The way she moves around the house, the way she reminds you she did, she got your fucking laundry done and socks. And you go, oh my God, I'm not late for the gym today. I can film with Zerka. And she actually, what the fuck? She just handed me clean underwear. Holy, she saved me 30 minutes. When you feel that with the assistant, you will never do a 50-50 relationship. If you find yourself in that 50-50 situation, it's not like your Zerka wants to have authority over her because it turns her it turns him on no you know what turns me on if i go in the passenger seat i kick my feet up i go babe where are you taking me to eat and i just play pokemon go or some shit but she'd be turned off and she'd f fucking discard me how many girls in my past have i had total authority over almost all ever since i you know became a bouncer and crazy and traumatized but how many of them have i sacrificed everything when they give me everything, I give them everything. So that's why I was so attractive in my city when they're like the biggest degenerate evil fight. He'll, I used to fight people who I knew would fucking kill me, right? Because I say, if you beat me up and you beat the shit out of me on a one-on-one, -on -one, I'll never lose. I'll come and jump you with 10 guys and beat the shit out of you. This is like the only time I broke. I hate jumpings. I, I want to erase that history. You know what I mean? You're right? So Which is funny. That bluff was great because no one fucked with me. They're like, oh, he's got good cocaine. He's fucking Colombian rocket fuel. But when a woman shows genuine burning desire, you give her the ring. Genuine burning desire means everything. She has to give you literally everything. This is, 
if you have a 50-50 partnership and Zerka comes to kill your children in your home, Bradley, there's people here and she's panicking. In a 50-50 system, she's used to that. You say, we're going to go out by the garage and she starts arguing. No, there could be someone there. Everyone's dead because that stupid bitch. Yeah. She's, uh, yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Stop. And look at this. Your son, 50-50, you're like being your friends with your son. Boom, he got hit by a fucking yeah, but this truck. Is like, okay, but this is... But when you say to your son, hey... Don't go on the street. You save his life. But you're you're using like a very extreme moment where it's like in that moment, if 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 like let's say I'm going that extreme by the moment is when she cheats. We're talking about someone coming shooting. Like I'm not saying you. We're having this. I'm saying shut the fuck up and come with me. Like but I'm not, she's gonna say no, no she, because no. she doesn't trust you because you're fifty no. fifty with her for ten years. She's conditioned to win arguments with you. Honey, it's not an argument. But and you chant, you say, listen, it's not, what come are you going to do when you step that way and she doesn't budge? She goes, no, our kids are going to go through that garage. Bro, that's not happening. Women freeze. Yeah. So I'm going to grab her be like, yo, you're coming this way. The fuck? No, you have to grab your kids. Like I'm, a, I'm from war refugee. So my parents would hold the kids. You're holding kids. You can't grab her. What are you going to leave her behind? I'll fucking hit her with a boot and kick her that now way. Now your kids are dead. You're taking too long. In times well, of emergency. realistically, I would have been strapped already. I would have been shooting back. All right, boys, listen. This podcast is sponsored by Manscaped. Check this out. The Platinum Package 4.0. This is one of my favorite parts in it. But, dude, they have everything that you need for, like, a complete skincare routine. Deodorant, crop preserver. They have everything for, like, your balls to clean them. They have everything, like, shampoo, two-in-one. Everything you need for like a complete skincare routine, Manscaped has you right now. Platinum package 4.0. My favorite piece is this, okay? The lawnmower 4.0. I use this literally, I, I shaved my face with this like two hours ago. No bullshit. I got out of the shower, shaved my face a little bit, cleaned up around the beard a little bit, try to, you know, get a little bit of the stray hairs off because my beard's going crazy. It hasn't got touched up in a little bit, but I promise you guys, these products are some of the best products I've ever used for skincare stuff. Charging, it's super easy. All the stuff is just like nice. It's all just really high quality stuff. Give it a shot. You guys should have a skincare routine. If you don't already, go to manscaped.com. Use code RAW for 20% off and free shipping right now. Again, that's manscaped.com. Code RAW, 20% off plus free shipping. I promise you, you are doing yourself a disservice if you don't have a routine for yourself, if you're not consistent with it. We all know this is true. When you get a nice cut for the beard, you get a nice haircut. When you're nice and shaved, you're clean, you know, down here, up here, whatever you need, you feel better. So why not feel better? Manscaped.com, got your back. Code RAW, 20% off plus free shipping. Let's get back into this podcast. What do you think about the Maui stuff? Are you on the side of the laser beams and shit? What is that? You know, the Maui, the fire in Maui is burning all the buildings. People. Oh, homes. is this like koalas are dying? I have to send money. To the no, you didn't hear about this shit? No. The, fi the fires and like taking out all the houses in Maui. Who gives a fuck? They're rich. <laughs> They're not. Aren't they? No. Maui? No. What am I thinking of? Uh, I don't know. Malibu. Oh, shit. Malibu, maybe. Yeah, burn yeah, that Ma place. Malibu, probably. No, but you didn't hear about the, the fires? And everyone's saying, like, there's, like, la they're, like, laser beams and, like, burning this shit so that rich people can buy the land up cheap. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. You would I believe, believe that. that. I would, because uh, do you believe in monopolies? For sure. Yeah, so you already know they're cheating. Like, it's so evil. Yeah. Right. And but you don't know what I'm talking about right now? No. Interesting. Fuck. I, think I, I don't even watch TV or anything. I, all I so do is just, read books. Well, four hours a day. Not. You know everything about the social media stuff. No, too. no. I only four hours a day. Every day, I will um, not concentrate. I will uh, soft. It's called soft read. Like playfully read. Go at the pace that is for my morning. And if I'm experiencing resistance and fog, I let it go and come back to thirty minutes. And I'm addicted to books. And I started reading books last year after I had a total fucking crisis right when i was studying sigmund freud he said everything's psychosexual so everything so if you do a cigarette like zirka or andrew the cigar it's an oral fixation like biting your nails you're sucking your mama's titty he said you are seeking comfort weed cigarette stuff oral fixations means some trauma some deep deep trauma and the more i looked into this the more I realized the G in Freemasonry, these guys rule the world, is generative principle, like degenerate, like sex, right? That's why they wear the Egyptian style apron that covers the third eye, the penis, the life force energy and stuff. When I learned about everything in the world being sexual, I read Masonic monitors 
they talked about semen retention in a different way. And they said your blood cells regenerate when you retain semen for months. Do you believe that? Your blood cells regenerate? Yeah, as in you can stay more youthful. Like one of the biggest no-nos in the past was passing your waters, right? Do you know why women can have multiple orgasms? Because you're never supposed to. I've done this. I've talked to Mike about edging, it when I was on the right? pod. I guess yeah, what he, that's what he said it was. Yeah. And go look. I at, could almost fly. What do you mean? I was almost able to fly when I did this, like at the end of two months. Like how long have you gone? I don't even remember my days. It was such a fog to me. Two months. Without busting, but you're yeah. fucked. Yeah, I did for two Poor months. girl. Who's the girl? She's like a hundred pound girl. Just gave all that electricity. You didn't bust? Two months. You didn't Bro, I stopped. I had to stop. Why? Because I was trying to see how long I could do it for. That was the point. That's 60 days. Yes, I know. That's two months. 30 the, is plus. Is that the most? Maybe like 62 days. Was it the most money you made or no? Uh, this is you're the, talking about during that time? Yeah. Was it big? about the most money I made? I definitely, if I look back on that time, I definitely like felt really good. Like in the gym, mm. mentally, I definitely felt really good. I, I, I like to, <laughs> who got the nut? No, yeah, no. Who got it? I think it was Logan's wife. No, <laughs> Nina. Nah, that's is that her name? Uh, yeah, Nina. I don't dislike Logan's wife. I watched Impulsive, so I'm a fan of his. Meaning, I'm a fan in a sense where. I can see boy, brother, reminds me a bit of, not my brothers, but I can just see the pattern. Nina is an outsider. All the fans Logan has that it's attacking his wife, they're not attacking because they dislike her. They're attacking that she had the balls to replace the good girl that deserves Logan. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and let's be honest, dude. But but it's fucked because we speak from outside perspective where we don't. We, she could be a great person. Look, you want to say whatever about all the stuff, fine. If but. she's a great person, how come nobody knows about it? Like, does she have a charity? You know what, what I mean? What do you mean? If she's a great person, I Mother Teresa, that. my Albanian Catholic, she's a she's like a saint and stuff like that. You can make yeah. your arguments online if you like her or not. But like her, her reputation was kind of just partying. It wasn't saving kittens. Yeah, reputation doesn't necessarily always like mean who the person is. In that. But, I mean, listen, if she continues. Like I said, if this shit was, if they got married and this shit was more, let, this shit was coming out. Let's say you and fuck. I, if we had a child, right? Right That's now, weird, but yeah. Yeah. Imagine okay. out of Bradley's butthole. Nah, it wouldn't be out of mine. It'd be out of yours. Yo, I wouldn't have the, the kid. Just, I, he just made you even say it. Yeah, you know why I come believe out of it too asshole. is because I'm not even jacked anymore. Like I would be the wife. Yeah, here. you would. It's okay. Continue. So it's coming out of me and yeah. the child is here. The cell junior. If we had a child, or you had a wife and a child, I had a wife, whatever. They grow up watching Logan Paul right now, and they go, look, if I make $100 million, I can get that girl. That girl uh, that, that that guy had and Leo. And that. You, you, you know how, ho how hopeless you must feel as a Zoomer saying, Logan busted ass for her to scoop him in a vulnerable moment men are always called vulnerable you've never had a girlfriend that didn't sink her fangs into you when you were vulnerable we gotta end, i know we gotta end, we gotta do it, it, how many hours was this it was long if you guys want to see a part three subscribe turn post notifications on all that good stuff you're a also, psychopath one yes, more thing go ahead when we're talking about the shout out jake fuck logan but when we're talking about the boxing mma and stuff i was gonna ask you what do you think of a street fight this one I, I keep tweeting about you. Did you see? We have to say five minutes. Everyone is saying you would lose to... A, was it a bantam? Uh, I don't know. The I think it was was the most recent one with when I did the No, interview. it was Mickey... Uh, not Mickey Mouse. Uh, Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. Yeah, for Johnson. You would lose... How, how much does he weigh right now? I don't know. I think like... I think his fights weight's 125, 155 or something like that. I like went and posted one thing on Twitter and I said uh, Bradley would kill him in a street fight. One million comments, even my own guys attacking me. And I, I gave a long explanation of why. Then the next week, Joe Rogan literally word for word said what I said. And everyone was like, yeah, Joe, Joe's right. They were coping sword that they were saying, but Bradley can't pick him up and smash him into pavement. It's a fight. Yes, he can. 
The fuck? And yes, he's talking about a street fight. Yeah. He, oh, well, in a street fight, if you're fighting a bantamweight or whatever, the grip strength different because they're like, well, actually, he's going to slither up and get you in a choke. And if Bradley grabs Mighty Mouse arm here, right here, one arm, it's not as dangerous as you think, bro. You got how much weight on him? You got a shit ton. A hundred something pounds. And you roll. And you, you've done all that. You, you've felt professionals. So it's not yeah. new to you. Yeah. Why can't they just see you killing this guy? Like, how come humans are that stupid that they, there's weight classes I, for a reason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it Brendan just Schaub was here. Yeah. Brendan Schaub said to you, Mighty Mouse would beat you in a street fight. Did he say it on a street fight? I, think, I don't know if he said a street fight. I think he said, like, if we were doing jujitsu, because that's what we were talking about at the time. We were because he came back because oh, I was really? ma I was talking about the street fight, and then somehow Brendan brought up a jujitsu. Yeah, match, he kept shifting it. I know a know, jujitsu match with with him, and it's like, yeah, like if I had a jujitsu match and there was no time, I would I would probably get gassed out, and he could probably submit me because I don't know how to get the full finish on him. Like if he can, no, no, his, there has to be a finish so you can win. Right, right. So I'm saying, like in that circumstance, he could get out of things remove things whatever and oh, gas so me they're out. talking about rolling where it's Jiu -jitsu, like jiu-jitsu oh. where i'm not hitting someone oh so they went from fight to sport where you're limited because you'll kill him yeah well that's that that was my whole thing was the street fight thing it was never like i'm gonna go jujitsu this guy and beat him in his own game and so that yeah so i kind of wish you just attack mighty mouse and show people what it looks like just attack him just bro I'm not saying when, and you know where they confuse it? They go, are you saying that a very good welterweight, and they start changing it and they go to, well, an off season welterweight, actually at 210 pounds versus Bradley. I'm like, bro, how do you, the argument starts at like 135 pounds and then they add weight the more they cope. They start changing the fighter. Every argument you've had for this fight thing, they keep shifting the scenario. Well, you can't slam them into pavement. You can't do this. You get, and you gave it to him. You're like, okay, I won't slam. Because in your head, you're like fucking killing them. Like breaking I'm their guard. Their they skull. got a fucking... I'm thinking about crushing their skull the, into the ground. The crazy thing to me is like, this is how the world thinks it is. Zerka, I'm 255 right now, right? Not that athletic or anything, right? Come see me on the street. Anyone, anyone. But uh, check this. I want Francis Ngannou on the street. Me. That's dangerous. Me fighting Francis would go viral. That's dangerous. Should I call him out? Do your thing. He's a big motherfucker, bro. I met that guy. He's huge. I know I'll lose. I think he would kill you. But check. Look what I'm going to do for my okay. community. Okay. I'm going to give it to them. He's French. Cuck, okay. Can't, Fuck you, it? your accent, and you're afraid of John Jones whoa, and whoa. John Zerka. I'm coming for you, <laughs> Francis and Ganu. When I see you on site, that's cap. I, that's cap, no, bro. I'm not finished. That's on cap. I'm not finished. Okay. On site, you're gonna knock me out. I'll still go viral. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'll still go. Fuck you, you stupid. You sound like a retard when you talk. But, <laughs> okay. but oh, but you, you're a refugee like me. Like whatever. I'm supposed. To, I'm so mad that John Jones fight's not happening. Yeah, they, they I really wanted that to happen. UFC has turned into, hi, you paid for this pay-per-view. We're going to fight in four years, five years. No. Yeah. Nah. Bro, how long are these breaks? It, I mean, dude, he just... Shout out Sean O'Malley. You, you see shot, that? But shout out to UFC too, man. Dana makes the best things, but it's like, dude, here's the deal. It's... No, it's Francis that ruined that deal. Right. Francis didn't want to do it because he Greedy. wanted more money. He wanted more money. And Dana offered him the biggest of the big. I don't know. I don't know what the offers were at all. I don't know the deals, but I know it like... It was Nina. Oh my God, bro! We're done. We're fucking wait, wait, out wait. Here. I was gonna say one thing, right? Um, I actually really appreciate you, man. Yeah, of course. Like, dude, time flies. This is four hours. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're on Adderall. I'm not. Pretty cool, huh? Shout out to the bots watching and guys, please in the comment section, don't mention Logan's wife. Please don't do that. Please don't. Are you guys friends or? I mean, I don't have a problem with him. And he did the thing on the internet and he talked here's to shit. I, and I'm, I, don't, I don't know why. Here's why I actually talk shit about everyone. I want, when I go to those influencer things, to get jumped and attacked. Because I got, how much of my life did I get jumped and attacked for for free? Yeah, now, so might as well put it to use. Yeah, so if Francis gets me or his boy gets me, million views. And then I go live and I say, I won. 
the whole I don't know if the Francis one. That would be bad. You think he just fucking killed yeah, him? Yeah, he's a big motherfucker. 